That is proper lemon. That's Look proper, at that. Proper lime right there. That is proper lime. Precious. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode two of the Golems Gamers podcast. So today we are going to be doing a tier list on all legendary legions currently in the game. So we're just going to be running through our opinions, seeing what everyone thinks about every legendary legion. We're going to get started. The first legion uh, we are going to do, it's it's the Rangers of Athelion. Gents, what do we think? I don't think I've ever played against this list in the new form. Neither. So... We're, we're experienced players. I think I've only heard it in the deepest, darkest ether before it got nerfed and was terrorizing yes. everyone. I think it's oh, a, I've seen a couple of bat rats, but that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Where no, does it now I've belong? Played, I've played it once post nerf. Um, and yeah, I think I think the nerf made them pretty unplayable at high points. I think that was it was uh, G boot I played them at. So that was was that eight hundred. 750. 750, yeah. yeah. Um, at high points, they don't work uh, purely because, you know, it's just, it, it, it's kind of just bringing the same unit over yeah, and it's over. It's more of the same. Which is, which is kind of, you, you get the benefit out of them at, at low points, but at low points, you have to take yeah. Proto and Sam. So it doesn't work at low points or high points. Um, yeah, that's so that's me, the nerf it's, it's... that came in. Yeah. So where do we want to start? Yeah. We can move things around afterwards for our audio listeners. Um, so in our in our tier list, uh, we have the best ranking, so the highest tier. Uh, we're going to be calling a lemon, and then moving down from that, we have silly, nervous, nervous. Then we have dog, and finally Chelsea, because there's nothing worse than Chelsea, right? So um, that's kind of the order that the tiers are going in. So is Rangers of Athelia in a Chelsea list? What What do we think? I'm saying dog. I agree. Dog. We can move yeah. things around at the end, but we can yeah. take dog for now if the group's happy. So yeah, because for... it can do well, I guess if you just do good super shooting. low. Nah, not even at low point. <laughs> yeah. because, of I, because of what I just said, no, no, post nerf, no, not even at low point. Nah. So dog. Yeah. Are we starting it in dog? Yeah, leave yeah. it in dog. Okay. Okay. Uh, so next up, we have the Grey Company. Ooh. Thoughts. We need Jack in here. I'm just putting yeah. the um Jack this... has never used this well, so this I haven't seen awesome. anyone use it well to be honest. I played against it, uh I played against Wiggins at uh City of Kings, funnily enough, last year. Um, but I was playing Pitts and it was Command the Battlefield, and he's so he it was Maelstrom, he started on the opposite side of the board. And I had to run towards uh, like eight bows with 24 miles and things. So it was pretty effective in that. Uh, but obviously, yeah, yeah. It, it had Did limitations. What's that? Did you lose? Yes. <laughs> ah. Game one at G-Boot. Interesting. Shocking. Yeah. Well, I started on the opposite just... side of the board. There was there was zero terrain, no terrain. And I just had to run towards all his bows with all his might. So then by the time I got there, I had like a fraction of what I started with. And then it's Azog ultimately against like Aragorn, the twins, Leggy, Gimli, you know, yeah, it's, it's rough. six inch banner, like it's tough. Yeah. And he killed it's so many, lemon, obviously, with shooting. So, <laughs> got to be. It's got to be nah. it's and they've got the advantage of being good at certain scenarios, but overall, but they're really bad they're just, at others. They're as pretty well. weak. Yeah. The model count's too low. I think they're above Rangers of Athelion at all points levels. Well, I'd say it's about on par, to be honest. On par. I'll so, are we playing it in enough. dog? Top of I dog. think it's above that though. Yeah, yeah. it's probably better. I think there was, yeah. I remember seeing a, a person. I don't know. I don't know who it was. I think it was a northern tournament. They went four and two with it, and I thought, mm, fair play, surprising. Yeah, I think yeah. in in the right hands with some you know good luck on scenarios and matchups, I think it can do better than Rangers of Dillion, probably. Yeah, I'd say. Are we happy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. moving on, we have I forget the actual name. The Return Army of the, of the Dead, the Return of the King. Yes. Yeah. Um, I have quite strong feelings about this Legion in terms of like how it plays. I think it's a bit boring, personally. Uh, yeah, so... I think it's very boring. You've just got lots of, you know, D8 troops. It's the same troop over and over again. It sits there, it doesn't die, it causes terror. I just think it's a really boring play style. You do have Leggy, which is fun, but um, I think it's quite boring to play and to play against. Is it better than 
just taking the ghosts on their own. Yes. 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 Definitely. Yes. So you get Harbinger, don't you? Yes. Yeah, you get Harbinger and you get to take as opposed you don't to lose just gets his super sword as well. What do you it's just allowing people to take ghosts for yeah. for it's better basically? It's a slightly competitive version of ghosts. I think you'd really. only ever take the army list on its own if it's like really low points and you just want the King of the Dead and troops at like yeah. four hundred or something. I don't think it's we any... don't really see tournaments that low though, do we? No. Yeah. And I don't think it's any good anyway at that low point. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so what do we think? I think it's probably... It is uh, saying all that, though. I think it usually performs decently well. It performs, yeah, I agree. I, it I, performs yeah, I really well. put it in. I actually think some people would argue for this to be putting at the very, very bottom of Silly Nervous. Like some people... Yeah, I do agree. Really nah. this no, no, Sam, you're I'd... off. I'm not. No, I, I think he's right. I, agree. Yeah. I would personally put yeah. it in nervous. However, I would say it's the very bottom of nervous. No, it's better than the bottom of nervous by far. Well, it's, no, in, it's in nervous. It has some. Yeah, it has some strong mechanics. Like it's, it's got the harbinger and terror. It's yeah. got the high defense. It, it has stuff. It's not terrible, it, it, but it's 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 not dimensional. The list people would. I, I people. Some people would say that it's better. Yeah, they totally nervous. would. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I can see that you could use it well um just the ghosts being fight three are just, just really they, not... but they wound on courage they're really high defense you've got aragorn and the king of the dead which is a pretty good you know combo yeah. you've got leggy who can shoot into combat like at high points you do have quite a lot of tools you have access to cav as well yes they're really expensive but you can get some mobility in there it yeah. does have quite a lot of tools no i completely agree mm. the access to the cav makes them playable i may yeah. be mistaken however i think for the Pontefract 100, Jasmine came fourth with this and Fell Beings. She so, did, I think, from memory seeing. I mean, yeah. you, it's to just put it in bottom of nervous. I think it's to, I'm just selling it to be honest. It is, although it's very, it's very boring playstyle. Personally, I would wouldn't want to play it. Um, it's in with a a person that can use it, you know, effectively. It is really good. Um, yeah, it can it can be strong with the right I was, scenarios. I think it's. I would personally still put it in nervous, but I could see an argument for people putting it, you know, yeah. upper yeah. nervous, potentially silly nervous, but yeah, I think that might be pushing it. I agree with that. Yeah. Okay, we can yeah. start with it in nervous and point. we'll reorder things, yeah, as, as as we go, sort of thing, or at the end. Uh so next up we do have the riders of Theoden. Very strong. Mm. See, this is uh this is a, a silly nervous list. Definitely. No. It's a, it's, it's got to be the most consistent legendary legion that has been in the whole game. So Ash, you don't think it is a silly nervous legion? No, it's a, it's a, it's better than the Turn of the King, but it's still just nervous. It's pretty interesting though, because this was like one of the very first legendary legions came out, and it's literally stood the test of time. It's still yeah. super strong yeah. compared to even compared to the new stuff that's come out. Um, been... Sorry, Vince. No, no, the, uh, go on, go on. I was just saying, we were talking last time about roll-off lists, and this is the epitome of a uh, turn two move-off. If it I loses think so. that move-off, um, like, if it loses that move-off, it does just completely go, and they just no, get counter It's got so much might die. it can negate it, I think. It takes a... When was the last time we've seen it win an event? I don't think it's a case of the last time we've seen it win an event. I think it's yeah, you said that about a lot of lists. I think it's a case of um the actual the list itself, like compared to like we're on our last podcast, we were talking about Eagles being much more of a roll off uh list. Like when you go in with Riders of Thaden, because of death and you get the free combats, um if it goes well, it just is game winning. And that is like, win. yeah. afterwards, even if you lose the move off, it doesn't matter because that amount of damage has already been dealt. Unlike Eagles and like, you know, you only have one hero, two heroes max. You're you're not put doing, put doing the same amount of combats as you are with Theoden, with Rise of Theoden. So it is potentially more, you can put out more damage with this list than you can with Eagles. Yeah, um, definitely. You, oh, you can totally break people with this list. Yeah, in the first yeah. turn, just when you call death right. Which but it's, then, yeah, it makes the it makes the turn after. Well, mm. uh, I played a I played a game recently with 
uh, our good friend Elliot Cload from Any Heroics, and he decimated. Don't give anyone me. too many shout outs, Ash. We don't want to be giving. Why away. not? We're, we're an inclusive. We should definitely not be doing here. that. No, no. <laughs> we we'll have to discuss this later. But <laughs> carry on. <laughs> and he uh, says he uses Riders of Thaden all the time, and I was very worried because um, he killed fourteen Easterlings in the first couple of turns to only one of his riders, and then he lost a couple move offs. And just the riders just disintegrated. And it, he said this is a consistent theme that occurs. The first two turns go really well, but it's just not, it doesn't have enough to, oh, just knock some paint over. Yeah, but I'm not sure I'd base your merit on the list of Elliot, Elliot Clode's performance. No, but he was saying as somebody who plays the list all the time. <laughs> I've played him quite a few times against it. And yeah, it's, it's quite sweet. It's it's mainly about how you <laughs> how you manoeuvre and position that list. Oh. It can be incredibly strong in a, a very good player's hands. Okay, well, I think a lot of it will come down to as well, like certain scenarios, like you say, Ash. I think you're saying if you get into a position where if you lose one move off, then it's going to go really south. There are some scenarios which are going to be more likely that you're in that situation compared to like Commander Battlefield, where you're going to have more distance and the move offs aren't as imperative. Yeah. See, so. It... I think for it to be silly nervous, it has to be quite easy to do well with it. And I don't think that's the case with Riders of Thaden. You have to, mm. the skill barrier to do well with it is really high because your first charge has to be really good in order to get the damage output that's necessary to keep the list going. And I don't think, unless you've played it lots of times and you know how to position well, that's an easy thing to do. I don't agree with that because you can't base a list. Um, you can't base a list playing potential off the skill. Like that means that you think Black Riders is in Chelsea because n- not a lot of people can play it in that sense. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Are we? Are we? To, yeah, like, point. it's so about how consistent the list it's, is. It's about yeah. what it can do with what it can do when it's Yeah, we're ranking the to, toolkit. Yeah, of mm. the yeah. Ranked, yeah. Ranked, a good player. If because then then it's like oh yeah all the any any hard competitive list becomes completely bottom. The, <laughs> but but the, at, the, at the, the same system. time though at the same time though so the toolkit of Riders of Theoden is that you have oh. death and all that sort of thing but it's that you're using a fully mounted cab army and yeah. a natural you know caveat to that is that it takes a higher skilled uh, or a more skilled player to you know do well with that list so that does partially come into it as well but yeah I think it's all encompassing of all those things. Which is, you know, determining where we rank it. So, so what do we think? We spent a long time on this one. Where do we want to oh, go? I'm, I'm still saying silly nervous. I'm oh. happy where it is. Yeah, silly nervous. Things are going to get moved around. I think I'm happy with it personally for now at the top of nervous, and we'll revisit at the end. Yeah, leave it there. Well, we've got. Yeah, that's good. Vince, you didn't have a vote. We've got two two. Yeah, I'd put it in silly nervous. It's ah, a silly so it's nervous list. There you go. I wasn't keeping count. Okay. There you go. Uh, it's the so... bottom, to be fair. But, you know. Yeah. 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 We'll see at the end. So, moving on, we have the... I was about to say... Men of the West. Things, but it's Men of the West. Um, where Chelsea. are we ranking this? Chelsea? <laughs> this <laughs> Just story, to continue yeah. the meme, it has to be in Chelsea. Everyone <laughs> thinks this is the worst Legion ever. Apart from that one what guy in Longshanks all... who's yeah. got a like 90% win rate with it. Got... No, it's there... Zach, Zach Rohan. He always <laughs> takes this to all the... He took it to... Into the West, um, City of Kings City last of Kings. year and was on yeah. top table for a little bit. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was on the top I've table. Actually for at least played him all... massive. I've actually played him in order shot with that list. Um, but what are the what are the benefits for it? I'm just thinking once per game at the start of any fight phase, Aragorn um... can declare a 12 inch plus one fight bubble and auto pass courage while Aragorn's alive. See, I don't and think it's it. Chelsea personally. <laughs> Is it worse than Rangers of Athelion though? I- I'm not actually sure. Like, yeah, well, I mean, it's bad, but at least you can put Faramir on a horse. I mean, I I would say it might be better. Really good yeah, yeah, and like they're all on foot as well, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like you've got King Elisar, Gimli, Aemir. It's lots of three, three, three heroes on foot churning troops. I mean, that's mm. arguably better than what Rangers of Athelion. Yeah, that's why that's why I argue. Yeah, how many of those are you getting? Like two. Well, I think uh, yeah. Obviously, it all depends on the points. But I think when I played against Zach, he had Aragorn, Leggy, Gimli, and Aemir, and a captain as well, and then spam one. models. Yeah, yeah, and like one. you get a lot as well. A lot of throwing spears, uh, shield wall at the front with the Minas Tirith. 
it, you know. But remember, you don't get taking Warriors of Rohan in this, the throwing spears, you don't get to have them as spears. Yeah. yeah. Just get... Or maybe he, yeah, so the shield wall isn't at the front. Yeah, okay. I um, think the lack of cav is difficult. Cavalry are such a good tool. Yeah. Um, I quite, yeah, did you well, read out the rules, Eddie? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's that Aragorn gets a, a 12 inch plus one height bubble once a turn. Um, sorry, one turn every game, and he's a auto yeah. pass courage. For the I mean, whole the game. courage is nice. What friendly models within 12 inches increase their fight value by one? He gets to be barred for one turn. Yeah, eight <laughs> turns. <laughs> and he has a whole legendary legion just for that. Yeah. yeah. Now, I mean, see, it could have was... had. I don't see sorry. why he couldn't have had that all the time. Yeah, would it have made it, it overpowered? Have... Totally not. It would have just no. made it better. Yeah. It could have had a lot more to it, but uh, for what it is, comparing it to the other lists towards the bottom, I'd probably say Grey Company is going to do better over six games, depending on matchups, but I think it'd do uh, better than Rangers of Pavilion, personally. Mm. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Put it in, put it in dog. So it's a yeah, dog maybe. list. Are we going above or below range? I, I would say below personally, but everyone else seems to think above. So I think what above range is it's above. Above. Yeah. obviously That's it's not a good three two then. It's not a good matchup, but comparing them in a head to head matchup, they are it would win, I think. It's not even in head to head matchups. It, I think it scales better over the points levels. Um That's true. That's true. Uh, it's got more viability. I think I think Sorry, go on, Sam. I think both lists, both lists don't have access to Cav. Um, I guess I don't know. Paramount no, you can mount Paramount. You can mount Paramount in um, ranges. But yeah, but yeah, I just think it's 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 gonna have a better time overall because uh, at most points levels. So I uh, yeah, I think it's below. Um, Great company, but yeah, I think it's not. I think it's right where it is. Yeah, I think we should be thinking over a six-game event. What does the toolkit, uh, you know, where does the toolkit okay. allow you to place, sort of thing? You know, yeah, that's okay. mostly what we're ranking them based on. I'd say. Um, okay, so moving on, we have the army. Is it army of Gothmog? Yeah, yeah, I believe. Yeah, um, I think this is I think sometimes. I think can sometimes be underrated. Yeah. yeah, this is this is a nervous list. I think. Yeah, I, th- I think it's the definition of nervous, really. This is of nervous, I'd perfectly say. middle, middle of the pack. Yeah, at, yeah. Oh, I agree. Um, very basic. With the recent meta of Easterlings, it helps counter that a little bit because Gothmog special rules become a lot better. Yeah. Um, that, I can't exactly remember what it is. It increases his hatred of men and it makes... Yeah, it's uh, 12 inches, isn't it? It's inches. one turn of re-rolling all wounds for everyone, board wide. Yeah. yeah. But it, it, wide. it can definitely have a strong impact and it is D6 everywhere, spam models. Yeah, Gothmog it's only fight mass- three though. True. Definitely. Yeah, the fight three but doesn't the meta, help. But the it's meta a spam, has, so... It's, it's, it's more shift to you, you're either in the high fight crowd or you don't care about fight. Yeah, definitely. That's sort of where it is. I think that's so what it, makes it a little bit strong. Yeah, because you can spam fight three, have decent heroes that are good at killing, um, you know, and if you play men, you're laughing. So so we've yeah. got the age of men special always increased to 12 inches, and additionally, the range of goth morgues, the Tommy the Orc has come, is increased to battlefield wide, and friendly border orc heroes may benefit from goth morgue stand fast. And yeah, that's goth morgue, as a hero, is pretty good with the master yeah. of battle, um, just no dice, just getting it. This can be this can be used well. The only problem yeah, yeah. with this is that it's arguable that actually taking Gothmog without the Legion, you actually the benefits you get in the Legion aren't as good as if you just take yeah. more Mordor. So if you if you yeah. take more Mordor and you get black numbers, you get you know your fight four then. That usually the twelve inch um the twelve inch you know thing Gothmog has is going to cover your whole army regardless. So when it goes to battlefield wide, does that really do enough for it? But the difference yeah, between t- taking the, the what this legendary legion helps enhance is taking a fully orc model list because you can mm. take the orc drum and then 
you've got a really fast moving strength four d6 army that yep. that has a lot of might and um, especially when you take someone like guritz as well which you probably will you've got uh 800 points you've got a 45 model army that's moving 12 inches up the board being higher defense and having more models and then just winning that grinding way grinding yeah. really well yeah i have to say that having played this quite recently i was using lothlorien this is a gbhl 100 i feel like george completely shut down any chance the heroes had and you just slowly walk through them mm. they couldn't yeah. really respond in any way the was, was it... that in preston james um yes it was in preston yeah so i think it is a good list overall um i'd say it's around the same sort of level as return of the king I think they're both pretty average lists. Yeah, but they're they're fairly strong. I'd say. Yeah, I, I'm happy. I'm happy with where it is now. I don't know, is, yeah, well, is there any is there any reason to take this over just vanilla Mordor? Like, I don't think so. Like, what? Like, what's your game? <laughs> just the hatred of man. Really. But again, you also get the full orc, twelve inch, fast moving. Yeah, but you can take yeah. Get. You can take uh, Fight for Mordor, or you can take Mordor Urukai or uh, Mordor Stalkers, which affect the dr- are affected by the drum. No, I don't think so. Right. I, I just see this as really the Mordor Stalkers are. That's, that's stalkers are, yeah. but Urukai totally aren't, and Shagrat's not. Yeah, but so if you take cool. if you take Mordor Stalkers, it's, it's it's similar to Ali's list that he runs. He takes Mordor Stalkers, he takes a drum, he takes Scothmog. I literally played against yeah. Alice yeah. Elliot, that list in the shot last yeah. weekend. Yeah, yeah with Kardush, uh, some Mordor Knights. So, but what you were saying before, Sam, was that you could still get good value out of Gothmog's rule outside of the Legion, which he did because yeah, I yeah. was using the Emperor. So he still kind of wrecked and he had the Morgul Stalkers, but he didn't really add in that much though, which you don't get inside the Legion. Yes, he had Morgul Knights, but you get the movement in the Legion with the drum and Gurits, like Ash says. Um, he, had, yes, he, had he, had drum, he had a drum in your lane against you anyway. I don't think he had a drum. Oh no, sorry, he did have a drum. Yes, so he had, uh, drum yeah, he had two magic. He had, he had uh, Musga. Oh, and he had Musga. I'm forgetting. So yes, he, he so he had Cardush and Musga. I yeah. think I think you just pay. I, I just don't really see the the point of it. To be honest with you, if you if you're coming from a competitive aspect, it I, I feel like the actual model list itself just pure just gives just gives it a bit more. Um, so it's just slightly different more. angle to play it at. Yeah. I think I guess yeah. it, it's just more. It's more of like you know you're that thematic version of it. Yeah. Um, I yeah. Think it's, it's a shame. Where it is. It's a shame that uh, Gothmog himself doesn't get any buffs. If yeah. he became yeah. sort of like, like a six inch banner, six. then it yeah, might, or something like that. Because that would. I mean, I know you only fight three, but getting a banner but, in general makes it way better. Yeah. Yeah, and it would it would put the center of the legion around him. Yes, his special rules are enhanced, but he doesn't get any more killy and anything like that i think a, yeah as a leader if, they, if he became a banner it would be very good yeah, yeah. Any, uh, any... so if we're if we're happy where it is are we good yeah yep let's yeah. keep it moving so next up we have uh, the grand the grand the grand army of the, the grand. south which is Le grand the grand army. Mumuk legion Mumuk. are you american oh, oh, where are we going <laughs> Mumuk. so we need our friend craig to help us <laughs> talk about this because he yes. plays this all the time. Pompey Craig. Pompey Craig. Pompey Craig. Love it. Charm. I think this Charm. is a nervous list. I think this is pretty good. You take this... If you can take this... Am I right in thinking you take this with the Rule War Mummock? Yeah. And then you just cancel everyone's heroic moves and the Mummock yeah. just kills everything. Yes. It's, 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 more, it. it's more terrain-based than anything else. Um, if you get given a board with a, like a, a larger amount of terrain or terrain that is just more immovable for the mummock you're going to have a bad time but if you do get given a board which is you know terrain is below half the height of the mummock and you can just completely trample over it and just destroy it i mean you're gonna have a great time because there's no real counterplay apart from unless they have a hero which you they can just stick in front of it and hopefully it's going to live um after through the through these just four strength nine hits the trample um there's no real way of stopping it apart from using terrain. Um, and some of the rules you get for it being the Harbinger, you get the ban. I think it's if you take Saladin, you get the two banners because um, you Saladin. ban the Mark and you ban a Saladin. So, what uh, you get is um, 50% of the army may have bows. Your army's yeah. leader may declare a free heroic action at the start of any fight in which they are engaged in combat. 
Yeah. If the war monarch is your leader, he may use his ability on top of the war monarch. Um, so you, yeah, it's kind of counterintuitive in the sense you you don't want to put your leader in safe to get a free strike. So yeah, you need yeah. a good secondary leader to deal with it as well. And yeah, within twelve you cancel any heroic or the first heroic on a four plus. So it if you don't have the yeah, tools to deal with it, yeah, it can just be really annoying. We've um, seen sorry, Sam. It's I just think it's a lot of points into the mammoth, realistically. I mean, it does the 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 guy on top does make the mammoth. Oh, I don't know if it's the mammoth or the dude. I think he's courage five or six, which negates the. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the guy, but the, the guy uses top. his courage. Yeah. Makes makes a. It's the, like courage seven or something ridiculous. Yeah, the the survival instincts portion of it, where you take a wound and then do courage test, that's kind of negated from it, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, and the fact he's got three might is pretty good. It's, I think it's two will, two fate, three wounds, if I'm not mistaken. So it it is really good. It's just board dependent, I think. Um, yeah, but We've as we recently found well, out, though. recently found out there's not much terrain on the, the boards in the GHL. <laughs> <laughs> News just um, in. Which which tier is it? So I think it's nervous. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a nervous tier. I think it's yeah. the bottom of nervous, though, to be honest. I, I think it's bottom. Ooh, so I, I would put it above Gothmog's Legion. Yeah, it's better yes. than Gothmog's. It's better yes. than Gothmog's Legion. Okay. But I don't think it's better than Return of the King. Yes. Are we happy? Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Moving yeah. on, we have the Black Gate Opens, which um, is the Mordor Troll Chieftain and Mount Sauron list. This. I think this is relatively good. I think this yeah. is better than Return of the King. Oh, yeah. I do I not agree. think it's better than Return of the King. Ooh. Why? Because I feel like at higher points with Aragorn. King of the Dead, Leggy, and better troops. But you're not playing this at high points, though. Remember, it's uh, you're thinking about you this all, You're thinking around this all all round points level. So as a list itself. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I guess I don't really Return of the King. That doesn't work, I, though. I it? don't think of a list. I don't think you can play Return of the King at five fifty. I just think it's. I but think you it's can't a play defenders of the Shire at a thousand points. Like, yeah, but you can't say, "Oh, at eight hundred points, it's gonna it's gonna beat this," because then it's like, "Oh, that's just yeah, not, it, yeah." It's one specific yeah. scenario. I guess, I, you, I, guess I guess I'm thinking. I guess I'm thinking that over most points levels, I think the Return of the King would have an easier time. Personally, I've played against the Black Gate a couple of times. I wasn't that impressed. Uh, yeah, the trolls are good, and the mouth of Sauron is good. He's a hero, Valor, so you can get lots of orcs. But outside of the troll, it's just orcs, in my opinion. Uh, no, you get the plus one to win good. when you outnumber, which is really strong because they're already strength four. You can pierce up to strength five, like you can do a lot of damage. Yeah, it's, it's people aren't killing you very quickly. A mortal troll chieftain that is fearless and with three yeah. might, two will, two fate. If you don't have magic, you're gonna really struggle. To do anything to that. Yeah, I played it very recently at the Exeter event with my Woses. I did manage to beat it, but <laughs> it, it was hold ground. Woes gang. Whoa. Hold ground. The 50 Woses just ran into the say? middle. I, I did a couple wounds to the troll with blowpipes, and that just ended up winning me the game. Simple as that. I don't know. It The math sound kind of wrecked me though because he's actually really strong in combat as well he's mm. he's quite far yeah, straight fight. Yeah, horse. yeah, he is good in combat. So well. math sound is a great hero. So we're saying it's good because you you beat it with your woes. Don't sleep <laughs> on the woes. Lemon list, then. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's drop it. I think it's right around this sort of mark, mm. but it's just where exactly. I, think I, would, I would put it at the top, personally. I I personally I don't think more than troll chieftains that good purely because of the base size. Like it's. So, tro- it's just the problem. There's a problem with trolls in general. The, the base size and it's only got three attacks. Doesn't win every single fight. It's in troll with might and a banner. But that is kind it's of what the, three might. The, a lot of the list is centered around the troll chief and doing a lot of work. I appreciate w- what you said, James. You can still get a lot of killing from the troops. That, in my opinion, makes it fall into a similar sort of bracket with like lots of the Azog stuff. 
Like, yes, they've got troops that are very killy, like hunter orcs and stuff, but if they don't win fights, then they're not killing stuff. I feel that this... At least they're not dying in the same league as the true, Azog sort of stuff. True. There. I just feel that if it, you know, doesn't win fights with the troops, then it's maybe still not going to kill a lot of stuff, even though you do have a lot of killing potential when you do win fights. But... The yeah. possible wound, like the animosity aspect of this list, is actually yeah. is going to be what what kills an army. Um, yeah, yeah. going to be too scared of the troll and think of ways to deal with it. That the whole of it's definitely better than Gothmog's Legion because just that plus one to wound special rule yeah. is better than it's a universal plus one as well. It's not yeah. just like Gothmog limited to something. Gothmog's allowed to do it once. This gives every model all of it. Yeah, the yeah. Whole game. That's fair. Yeah, I think it's easily above the Gothmog's Legion. I think it's around this sort of bracket. Do we want to put it ahead of Return of the King? I think it's better than Return of the King. Yeah, same. Sam? I do as well. Okay, that's 3-2, it looks like. Motion count. Um, okay, so <laughs> moving on, we have I... the Defenders of Helm's Deep Legion. Silly, I think strong. it's a silly nervous Where's list. Where's Bert Leach? At least. Every time I've played it, I've beat Bert. It's got to be gone. I have I played it once oh. and Bert beat me. I've also um, used this. At, uh, I've used this at war last year, and I'm going to be taking it to Dewey's 100 at 550 as well. Ooh. I think it's um, points brackets. It's really good. It's got lots of tools, lots of throwing spears, lots of shooting. Uh, you know, lots of my at higher points. You can get into really good heroes at lower points. Yes, you only have fed and gambling as your kind of combat heroes, but you don't really need them to be in combat. And if they do get into combat, you can get. They up to fight six, gambling up to fight five. I played against the yeah. Uglux Scouts list, I think, at war. Uh, and Thayden ended up killing Lurts at the end of the game. No one had any might, but it's because I could get Thayden up to fight six naturally that that kind of sealed the game. So, um, yeah, that's because the, the child is very OP, though. Halleth. Children are yeah, OP, Alice. confirmed. I would yeah. say it's not silly nervous. I would go the best nervous list we've rated so far. Why? I think it's easily a silly nervous list. Why I would say it's it... the bottom of silly nervous. Yeah, why, Ash? Why, why is it not silly nervous? I think Ryder's... Really if if Ryder's... <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty much. <laughs> That's why. Well, Ryder's a Thaden, I think, is at the bottom of silly nervous. And it is worse than Ryder's of Thaden. I personally it... disagree. I, I also think disagree. I think it's better than Ryder's <laughs> I'd say they're no, at a no, level, actually, to be I, honest. Um, I agree with Ash. I, I don't given the matchup. Yeah. I don't think it's silly nervous. Mm. It, it doesn't. Like we have a... Go it's going to be a three to two. Who can we convince? Yeah. At low, <laughs> at low points, it's the you're, you're gambling and fade in and then taking fight five elves with 30 inch bows. Bear in mind, at low points, you do. I have never seen the 30 inch bows ever be. I've used. had it happen to me at war. The 30 inch bow yeah, did, did wreck the spider. Cone. I also think 550 <laughs> isn't the points, it gets better at higher points, yeah. And that's so even at low points where you can take it, you know, you're you're a bit more not that you're forced to take shooting, um, but people just do take more shooting because it can just be yeah. more effective if you, you know, remove models off the table at low points, there's less to deal with. Um, so it's a case of at high points when you can get your fight seven Aragorn, you can get Legolas, you can get Gimli, although you know, people take. Some people don't take Gimli. They are more likely to take Aragorn or Legolas. Getting... But never take Aragorn. Yeah, I think I think Aragorn is actually quite good for this list. Um, being fight seven is just... that well, the, the It's good, but I don't think fight. it needs it. It's already got so much might. Yeah. yeah fight I, seven isn't making really a huge difference. I personally... It's not the, re- it's not Sorry, the on, might that's the thing. I think it's just the, the, the fight seven itself... Having a fight seven, it's the Aragorn hero. killing power. Yeah, having a fight seven hero with your fight five battle line with the um with gambling for his banner. So he's like, you're never really going to lose banner BPs. Um, your banner's never going to die essentially. Um, the throwing spears you get. Um, like if if this comes up against Rise of Thaden, Rise of Thaden gets shot, and any fight five hero that walks into it kind of has to strike, which doesn't feel great. Um, mm. I just think Rise yeah. of Thaden marches towards it and it gets one round of shooting if you're playing a, like even if you're playing a 12 inch deployment unless unless you're playing recon you don't get your 30 inches of shooting and yeah, you have to think Ash still. with this list you're deploying as far back as you can if you get the opportunity yeah. which often hinders what 
the person using it can do for objective scenarios and stuff. It it's does. a bit of a trap. Obviously, depending on the scenario. Yeah. 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 A bit of a trap. Yeah. I think um, we mentioned about low points. I think at low points, although it might not be one of the best low point lists in the game, at 550, you can get 32 models with a shit ton of bows and throwing spears and decent combat heroes. So I think that's really strong at the... Do those so, types of levels. I would disagree that the co- that the heroes are good in combat, though. That's that. The point is, it's just a not good in combat. Army. No, no, no. But like, if you do need to get paid and in into combat with a spear behind him, trying to kill to a turn, it isn't that he can't do that. You don't want him doing that, but it is a role that he can fill if you want him to try and mm. you know kill some models in the order, heroes. That. I think the fact that it's all based around the troops, they're all strength three. I mean, I guess the Warriors are around Compass and Strike, which does help yeah. with the fight five, um, with the fight five spear spots. But you don't get that across your whole battle line because Gambling's Banner is only three inches. Yeah. And having D5 at the front and then T5 at the back, the whole army is D5 apart from Yeah, every, yeah. yeah. It goes down when it loses fights and yeah. it's wounding d6 armies i guess maybe i'm biased because i play d6 armies primarily but i just find yeah. it doesn't kill you needing sixes which are really hard to to get and then when you win fights you need fives and you do just kill it yeah and then it's got nothing to counter the fact that your heroes and your troops are killing better than it if it doesn't do enough damage with shooting and throwing spears yeah it plays on gambling just aren't good in combat yeah it puts a lot of chips into the baskets of the throwing spears and the bows doing really well for you i it think does. If you it's can very do effective that... at using them though yeah because you're able to call a free move each turn because you've got the gambling banner you're choosing and pairing off the fights because they're not really going to be wanting to spend their might on moves necessarily i and think that's one of the james... great strengths of it and as james gobel found out at nobody tosses a dwarf you can instantly lose assassination before combat yeah when, when someone rolls four sixes through blood and light with with six dice <laughs> and then insta kills your kid and it's <laughs> like so, <laughs> confirmed. with Aldor like at 550 that's 32 troops with Aldor and Halith so mm. it's it's got a lot of tools and then we were talking about higher points I personally really do like Bert's way of doing it with Legolas and Gimli because I think a lot of the skill gap with the list at higher points is when you can get really good return out of the Legolas and Gimli special rule with the plus one Gimli gets plus one to wounds uh, if Legolas is ahead on kills is that right? Yeah. So yeah, I I think if you can set that up right, you know, you're doing really well. Do you think not having access to Cav makes this like much worse? You maybe have free marches. You do have free marches. Yeah. So you're using gambling's might, but you know you're going to get it back. You don't because you have to spend three might to be able to then use his one might to you get it. You have to spend free. it, but if but you it's have, not. But if you have to do that at the start of a scenario like whole round or something mm, it doesn't work like that though you, because no when you, you still you've get it back got, though you've got the child you've got gambling you've got Thaden and if Thaden's trying to kill stuff you want to give the might back to him if gambling's already marched you want to give the might back to him you don't actually have the whereas it used to be you gave a might back to every single Rohan hero yeah now you have to choose so you are still spending that might and it's not like you I think it's a bit of a trap to think you just get it for free because you don't, if that makes sense. I think in a lot of games, you're able to very easily out mighty people using it. I think that's what yeah. Yeah. No, the that's, gimmick is. Uh, yeah, well, it I seems agree. free. It ultimately isn't free. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. if it, it, it's you don't feel as bad about calling two or three marches in whole ground as someone who doesn't no. have that utility. No, definitely. So, yeah. Um, yeah it's very we spent a lot of time on this one, but it's a... Uh, it's, uh, yeah, I think it's a very good list. I would personally put it in Silly Nervous. Where do we think? Yeah, Silly Nervous. That's Again, two. keeping it top uh, of Nervous, but I doubt I think, I it's, can... I think it's Silly Nervous. Yes. There we go, Vince. <sighs> Three, two. Um, I think I... it's either bottom of Silly Nervous or above Black Gate Opens. Yeah. There. It's in okay there. We can revisit yeah. at the end. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so next up, we do have Deirdre's guard. Where are we going? Um, I I really like this legion, except for the fact that Theodred's your leader. Like, yeah. 
you're just giving up leader points because he, he's just so hard to control and he's pretty fragile. But it does have really, really strong special rules. So it's got the the board, uh, the army wide um, fearless, which is really good. Um, you get Elf Helm and you get um, Grimbold. So you get the strength four Rohan guys. You get the throwing spears, being able to use a spears rule, which is really good on the Rohan. It's just a really all round list. The only thing that lets it down is Theodred is just so fragile. And once he goes down, yeah, you, you, you do tend to struggle a little bit. It's still decent at low points, though. Yeah, I think the the Swarm Protector bodyguard stuff is so under... Like, I, I don't think it's underrated, but it's so, so good. Like, ridiculously good. Um, the... The problem with Theodred, I find, is that when, like, the fact you have to do the, if there's a gap, even though if he's on horse, um, if he can charge and he has to dismount, like, if he, he has to dismount to charge, he still has to, like, that. Yeah, that, you can't control him. Yeah, that's the problem. You, you can't control him. A person that's used this list enough can can um, prevent that. Um, it takes a lot more for yeah, but it's Yeah, but it's a fact that you have to keep, like, worrying about it. But I don't think that's inherently a although it's a it's a caveat to the list, like it's a little bit annoying. I don't think it's game, I don't think it drops the list down. Yeah. I agree. I think something you just learn as the play style of the yeah. list. Like I am thinking a person, a, a really good player with this, who, you know, comfortable with it, knows how it works. Um, I know people some people don't really rate um Elf Helm as high as other people, but Elf Helm I think he's fairly, fairly good for what you pay for him. Um, same with, I mean, Grimbold, you think, because he's got his two-handed, you know, his axe. Um, again, do you have, apart from Phaedra, people think you don't really have a way of killing. But I think kind of like Blackgate, although they have the troll, I think it's, again, it's your troops. It's your straight four at, with your Royal Guard. Do they, do they get, still get fight five in this? Or is it still only fight four? Uh, yeah, I think they get the fight five. I think Thaden's yeah. rule... Transfers over to yeah, Theodrid. I believe from so. This leader. Yeah, you fight five straight four still. I mean, yes, they're D five, but you, you don't you don't get the plus one strength for the Cavalo. I don't think, which okay. is no, yeah, which is sad. But I think in the for a list itself, I mean, it, it, I think it scales well best in the 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 midpoint, like your six hundred to to seven hundred range. Um, yeah, I think. I would personally put it at the bottom of silly nervous. I think oh, I'd like to put it at the top of nervous personally. I don't think it's in the same tier as defenders and rise of the No, personally, really? I think in the in the right I hands, I think it is. I think if we're looking at, but well, we already toolkit, agreed that it's not. Yeah, about... exactly. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, I, yeah, I think it's silly nervous. You've got to you've got to assume the list is being played by someone that really knows what they're doing because that's one. That's what is. That's what the list is. In yeah, that. and that's what we agreed upon earlier. Like, I don't think I a person... <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that a person riders of Theoden is silly nervous if it's not, if it's being used by, you know, your average your average war gamer that doesn't, you know, that doesn't play yeah. in a really, really competitive mindset and hasn't used cav armies, for example. Yeah. Cav armies play in a completely different way. Um, and it's it's a whole it's like learning a whole new game when you're using a cav army compared to your standard shield wall. Um, so I'm assuming yeah, yeah. the player yeah. has played the, has used this yeah. to, to the best of its ability, which is why I think it's silly nervous. If you can see Ali King took this to his victory in the GBHL, what two years ago? Yeah, a, a player of that caliber using this list, did he? But Ali's meant to be really good with this list, and I still trashed him. So, <laughs> yeah, that, mean the list isn't good. <laughs> that just sounds like proper Elliot. Like, um, it's silly no. nervous for me. My vote is silly nervous. I'm totally going to go get a beer. That's too silly nervous, like... James. Yeah. I'm saying nervous. I think it's nervous. It's, I think it's, it's nervous it's above. It's um, three in so. nervous. Yeah, yeah. It's, top of nervous. It's a very nervous twice. list. I know Been James has voted. a lot to say about this next list. The what gingers have bad takes. Yeah, um, okay, moving on. Riders of AM. <laughs> Riders, oh, this is, this is Goebel's newfound. Is, oh, okay. James, James can put this list where he wants because he 
Oh, it's going at 11 then, straight away. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that up there. That looks pretty good. Amy, oh, yeah, I think one. it definitely belongs there. No, it, it definitely doesn't. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It, it's really not a great list. It just looks like really good fun to play, to be honest. It's got quite a cool. Shape, it's got a cool, unique monadic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Monadic. Monadic. <laughs> <laughs> Who is got a monadic? <laughs> yeah, it's got a cool mechanic. A board wide shade for a turn. You can do a lot of damage with your strength four on the charge. Yeah, you got your Gandalf the White. He's very strong. AM is a great leader. No, Gandalf the White is a two hundred forty point sink. Yeah, mate. Yeah. You need him for the for the special rule though. Oh, no, that's the trouble. <laughs> it sounds like a pretty dog special rule in Legion. So doesn't that? <laughs> ultimately place it somewhere <laughs> realistically it's probably going in dog this list is dog I'll come back to it yeah. just this I think is... it's better than Men of the West though I agree uh, really the debate around the Grey the Grey Company is the is only thing that you get in this Legion from running it outside of the Legion is the shade for one turn yeah, but that's, that's quite it. good. You can and also take work and round at higher points. Rule. I didn't mention that. But which gives you, you the plus take... two Warhorn and it gives you the, the Red Shield Riders for plus one Looking point. Looking at the special rules, the only things that you get in this are the plus one strength on the charge, which is what you get in the army bonus, yeah. which you keep if you ally Minas Tirith and Rohan. So the only thing you gain is a shade for one turn. I do not think that's better. Than... It also allows Gandalf to lead the Rohan Riders. Okay, true. Okay. But at least in Men of the West, you get the plus one fight bubble. Was it also a banner? Or it was only the fight? No, it's a one turn. Oh, yeah, one, one turn, turn yeah. sorry. Would you rather yeah, have yeah, one yeah. turn of plus one fight or one plus turn one of fight. minus one then you also... I think the minus one jewel is a lot more powerful than plus one fight. Yeah. Bingo. You also get board wide, whatever the list it was. Is dog. Stand fast courage. <laughs> the list yeah. is dog. Who put cares? It put it above. I think it's in here somewhere. Above Men yeah. of the West, below Great Company. It sounds like above is getting the majority. I'm still going to use it. (laughs) Um, So moving on, we have the part of Druid. Uh, Vince, you've played this, haven't you? Yeah. So (laughs) I've used this list and on paper, I thought it was going to be really good. But yeah, it's it's a dog list. (laughs) (laughs) Honest, Vince. (laughs) So I I, I hate to bring up the the terrain um, issue again, but... (laughs) One of one of the reasons why this legion is strong, I think, is because of the the terrain rule, where you can put the waypoints down, yeah, definitely. and being able to move through the terrain with cavalry, it it changes how this legion plays like completely. And what I found was on pretty much all my games, um, there was th- there was just not enough terrain. Like I couldn't use that rule properly. Like and by terrain, I mean like you know, a big forest or like... Yeah, actual some, difficult terrain. Some big difficult terrain. You can just like, you know, play around it and it changes the, you know, the strength of this list completely. The winning move-offs on three up, it seems good. Um, but not if you, you know, roll ones and twos anyway. <laughs> yeah. so it sounds like the key takeaway here is a huge is difference. That- TOs and need to have more terrain at their events. That's just go play in a different country, Vince, and then it'll be great. This sounds like the key takeaway for all TOs. You, you also lose the strength bonus, um, and that's actually massive. Having strength three cavalry is just not good enough. Yeah. You, you haven't talked about the greatest damage. strength for the list either, which is the Wozes, obviously. Oh, right, yeah. The Wozes. Yeah, they're terrible. Yeah, the fact you have to they, take a full warband as well yeah, is not great. Yeah. I don't think I don't necessarily think the Wozes are terrible. Like they're bad. It's a point sink. I think Gambry Gan is where your is your biggest tax. He is he's awful. For for how many points you're paying, he, he is just useless. You break so easily in this legion, you just don't do enough damage. Even with yeah. the yeah, even with the you get what reroll ones against orcs, Urukai, it's just it's yeah. not enough. It's not that enough. sounds like a dog list at absolute best. I'd, is I'd it say it's pushing Chelsea? on Chelsea. Yeah. Is it our first Chelsea? Really? I don't think it's... No, no. I, I don't think it's quite that bad. I think no. it's, it's better than AMA's Riders. Yeah. Oh, oh no chance. I would put it's it in. better than AMA's <laughs> Riders. Go boys, fuming. That's, that's <laughs> an outrageous claim. 
Yeah, it, it sits above it sits above Riders of AMA and below uh Men of the West. Above Riders of AMA, but below Men of the West. Well, that That's not possible, work. mate. Uh, whatever that one is, <laughs> great company. They look the same. Here? No, one below. One low. Here. For me, it's there. I think. Mm. I, I think the strength three is horrendous. Yeah, it's bad. Can you take? Is it like you can just take axes and pierce? Is that the same? Uh, you, you, can, you can do that, but um, I mean, raw guard don't have axes. True. I, I think it's there, personally. I suppose at least you get there. the option of Royal Guard. Like, you don't even get that in Riders of Aomir. So. Yeah. Let's leave it there and we can revisit. Um, moving on, we have Ugluck Scouts. Good list. Is it the best? Is it better the Scouts list? What's the other one? Lertz's Scouts. Lertz's. Yeah, yeah I, I think Ugluck's is better. Ugluck's yeah, is I think a good both are, I think both are decent. Um, so this you get your spears in, essentially, which... yeah. You get animosity as well, don't you? You get the plus yeah. one, yeah. Yeah, that's really strong. That's very, very, very strong. The woodland creature as well. Um, yeah. Good I mean, uh, Is this the yeah. eight-inch move as well? Like everything in Marauders? Yeah, yeah. eight-inch yeah. move. Yeah, yeah with a drum, yeah. and you can march, so you can be going, what, 14 inches? Yeah. So I think, so... I personally think this is better than Thedred's Guard. Yes, 100%. Yeah, it's a case of, I think... Like this list, uh, this list has like a a cap on its points level when it where it yeah. comes most effective. Um, I think once you reach your, I want to say like your six fifty, like seven hundred, really pushing. It, I think for this list, yeah, uh, your six fifty yeah. is your max where you're going to see this. Um, yeah. and yeah. to be fair, when it when you do see it, your low, you between very strong, your five fifty, six fifties, it is really good because you get yeah, you get your forty to fifty models of scouts which are yeah. shape four moving x x faster turn like it, it, it can just be yeah it can just be too very much hard hitting. hitting um yeah so I I think it's a yeah. silly nervous I'd say it's the bottom of silly nervous yeah maybe yeah. proper nervous in between yeah, those two nervous. Uh, I think it's I think it's better than. Defenders of Helm's Deep, personally. I, no, I don't think I agree with that. Yeah, Just I, 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 think deep, I do. Yeah, but... Yeah. I think we're debating nervous. if it's top of Nervous or bottom of Silly. Bottom. Yeah. Bottom of Silly? It seems like there's yeah. a consensus. Okay. Um, moving on, we have the Wolves of Isengard. Which Underrated recently list. Another made an appearance Legion. at the Masters. Yes. Uh, which, I think me and James play both it? played. I, I got to play oh, it, it very recently. So yeah. I I played I played it at Masters Ooh. and it. I mean, I did win, admittedly. However, it, it looks so scary on the table. I agree. I also managed to beat it, but it looked terrifying coming at me. Yeah. yeah. Um, Am I right in thinking that it beat Black Riders? It totally yeah, did it, it did it. It so... did kind of crush it. I mean, Ed Ball with <laughs> say how it's list. it actually Matt... made him quit the event. <laughs> Wait, that was it Ed that dropped uh, out? I totally didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. That isn't a, uh, a fair comparison for the list, which is unfortunate. No, definitely I'd, not. I'd love to see this list in, you know, your 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 nervous or silly nervous list. <laughs> it's not making it. it. How what was the scenario? Um, that it, that it, uh, it, I think it was capturing control, something like that. Uh, what were the scenarios on the first? Yeah, capturing control was around. Three. Yeah. 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 I think it's it's a real shame because I think the list is actually quite. It looks really fun to play. It does, but fight for max with no strike is Sharku is very is tough. A horrendous leader. Yeah. That's the real. Sharku, yeah. if you don't wound him, you get. A I, I actually hit. killed him turn one with the woes no, with just, blow pipes. He just, yeah. just strikes a wall, right? He sucks. Yeah, you can. It's it's just so bad. Uh, like he the the free combat is essentially just <laughs> non-existent because you you never get. In a, what's the point? Like <laughs> yeah. everything's normally fight four. So the free combat. It, it, it he doesn't have strike, does he? No, he doesn't. No, That's no, what I mean. You're capped at fight four. Yeah, it's it's not great. Um, I'd love it to be good, but I think it's it's dog. It's dog. I think it does have the opportunity yeah. to overwhelm quite a few armies, though. If if you're not prepared for what's about to happen to you, you can get rinsed by it. <laughs> it's some scenarios. Some scenarios. Yeah, it's incredible at Maelstrom, yeah. And that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd probably say it's uh, 
above everything there. I thought that was fair, yeah. I I'd say it's actually probably better than Grey Company. I think Grey Company is pretty strong after seeing how it did against Pitts in certain matchups. Obviously, but the yeah. Wolves can be as well. That's one game I... of experience, though. Yeah. I've also played against the Wolves. It though. did win but, the spoon yeah. at the Masters. So, mm, But to be but... fair, the person, the player who took this list did actually do well with this in the league too. I think I don't know if he took other lists as well, but I think this is one of his main lists he used to get to the Masters yeah. with. Quite a few people have done pretty well with it. Yeah, and especially, I mean, it'll be interesting to see because I think, uh, not spoilers, but I think Will is taking this to yeah. City Kings. So it'll be really interesting to see how it does there. I think the scenarios do favour it more, but that'll be, if he, you know, if that goes top three there, that's pretty... If the champion wins with... Walls of Isengard. I know yeah. he's used it. He has fair, used you can't stop it, it a recon. Yeah, yeah, I don't think how it... Yeah, imagine that. that then would and especially as it doubles the... Yeah, the yeah exactly. Well. It's unstoppable at recon. Oh, recon. But how, what does yeah. it do at Contest of Champions? It just loses. Why well, loses? Yeah, yeah. Sharpie. Sharpie. Sharpie stinks. Make sure <laughs> he must have something up his sleeve, though, because otherwise you want to Make the Orc so. Shaman the, the fucking... That's what I'm saying. There must Champion. be a trick here somewhere. Yeah, Leave it there. It, it, it's yeah. it's happy there. I think. I yeah. think it's fine there. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's move on. So next oh, up we have assault, assault on <laughs> lemon, oh, lemon, lemon, lemon. The lemon. most miserable lemon that we're ever going to get. It, it's lemon. it is our first lemon list though. It Damn. has to be said. Is it lemon? It, it's oh, lemon. I'm not convinced lemon. it is lemon personally. It's definitely lemon. It's in the top four lemons. The top I have played lemons. against this many times at events, and it is very strong. I've personally lemon. only ever played it in Recon, which is the worst matchup. And yeah, fair, now, fair play, I've been demolished every single time. But I think at certain stars, you're deploying close. Just, then it has arguably the quickly. best unit warrior profile in the game with a bomb and the listers raining over you and the strength five, fight fiver at captains, chewing through troops. It's going to have very yeah. high model count. It's, it's not a huge down, model count. It's hands down one of the most broken like overpowered legions in the game. The it six needs, inch yeah. The six inch um can't fire within of a blister is not enough for it. Um it ideally like to get to the ballistas, especially when you have high points, you take three ballistas, that um I know people think like blinding light blinding light can do okay versus it, but even then you can shoot through it. Um the... You shouldn't be able to shoot through blinding light. It's so strong. I, I think a Lothlorien does counter it, something like that. Because Galadriel, you're not going to be able to stop her with just the ballistas. I don't. I'm knocking her back six inches. Yeah, he just puts on behind her, however. But it goes through. How does it? Does yeah. it penetrate? It pierces uh, So it's uh, <laughs> the the the. You need to. Make I tried. The, <laughs> you need to make these these twelve inches. The twelve inch around the blister, like even a... then, how often are you actually get into twelve inches of it though? Yeah, but the the twelve inches is a lot bigger. Marching with a uh, marching with a hero on horse with cav, twenty seven inches. That's you're moving. Thir- that's you need to move thirty nine inches to get there. Like that's not. Yeah, you just annihilate in the heroes calling that march though, aren't you? But when you're when you're around playing around terrain, you know you're actually around a building, so you're not visible. Then it's like, yeah. oh, uh, I think. The thing is, if you do something to this list that is too drastic, too big, it will just kill the list completely because the ballistas and the bomb is what is what it revolves around, and those are the selling points yeah. for it. So, oh, you can, so for example, if you can kill the crossbows. people with the flaming brands, like that bomb's not going off. Yeah, it, it, it's the ballistas. You need yeah. to... you got the ballistas, the bomb, and you've got a really solid army outside of that. Like, the captains aren't to be slept on. You've got good shooting with crossbows, like you were saying, Ash, and then arguably the best warrior profile in the game. And a lot of them, at most points levels above, like, 600, you're going to get a lot of models with a lot of ballistas and a bomb. We all know it's Lemon, really silly. It's up it's there. It's Lemon. Let's go next, go next. We're not, we're not, yeah. There's no discussion. It's one of yeah. the best lists in the game. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Right, moving on, we have the uh, Army of Dunland. Dunland. Yeah. This James bought the... this and thought, nah. Yeah, I bought the entire army, spent a lot of money on it, and then <laughs> sold actually... it all before building it. <laughs> because I then played it against yeah, it rules. quite a lot of times and just walked it's... through it every time. It's not great. It's such a cool legion, though. Like, that's really why cool. I bought it. I thought it looked yeah, cool. Models. 
Yeah. Like, it's really similar to Army of Gothmog, mm -hmm. I feel like. But I think it's slightly yeah. better because it's bonus. You get its bonuses like against all armies, not just men. Yeah, um, definitely. It's, yeah. So it's... <sighs> It's got great oh, troop variety, I think. Yeah, I yeah. think I think that's what sets it apart from Army of Gothmog. Yeah. It's got Crabane and the cool Dunland profiles and the new Dunland heroes as well. Um, but if it had like just normal warriors could take spears, I think it would be brilliant. But the fact it has to be Huskars is what knocks it down. Yeah, and they just too expensive. Huskals, like they made Huskars so bad. I don't know why. I I don't understand why they made them that bad. The fact that you need to be supporting and within three of a hero just to get to fight four is so <laughs> yeah. restrictive for no reason and they're like, 11 they points just for made that. Them, they could have just made them the same points and say they're always fight four makes it so much less complicated and they're still fine like fine yeah. like you do get possible. the benefit of bodyguard though which is really strong on them yeah mm. but i don't know the, the list the list is is all right but it's just so it just it dies so easily, doesn't it? I'd say it dies very easily, but it kills very easily. It's it's one of those sort of lists. Yeah, yeah. I'd say it's a nervous list. Yeah, yeah. I'd, but I'd say I agree. The, I'd say it's near the, the top of nervous, nervous, personally. In the top, I think it's a army of Gothmog in nervous. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I don't I, think it's as good as yeah. Edred's Guard at all. No, no. I, I would put it around Return of the King. The moment yeah. one's a bit weird because it's such. Like I a think niche. it's better than Return of the King. I, yeah, I, I agree. agree. I agree. Mm, I don't, but there are three who do, so that puts it out. <laughs> uh, better than Democracy. Black oh, Ash, this is your baby coming up next. Here we go. Here we I'm go. Okay with that. I've been excited for this. Let's for move on, hour. Ash. You have the floor, but I'm going to put it in Chelsea before. I yeah. Let you go. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, so the defenders of the sire, defenders the sire. of the shire. Legendary Ooh. Legion. Shoyer. 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 I tried to make this list work for a Years. good six months last year. And it can, it can at low points do some things. It's basically uh, Mary has to be your leader. Um, you can ambush with a warband that's not controlled by Mary or Pippin. And you get eight additional traps for just taking the legion now for those who don't know about the hobbit traps because they are incredibly niche they are very good though they are well we'll get on to that basically they're 20 they're like the size of a normal base um but they do interactions that basically are really good at stopping your opponent. Sorry, I have to interrupt you, Ash. You have the most nervous squeaky chair I've oh, ever seen in my Yeah, life. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm so as sorry. He's, as he's laying out the points of the Sounds league. Like, every WD time. WD40 out. The, the necessity for WD40 here is he's large. Needed. Yeah. Um, sorry, carry on. No, no, no. That was good. <laughs> basically, you've got four different types of traps. Tripwire traps, snare traps, pitfall traps, and dummy traps. And these are all activated for infantry on a 2+, plus if you enter within an inch of them. And you can't deploy them... You would deploy them before um, priority. So you deploy them after you've deployed. So they're quite good at... You can see where the enemies put their cavalry. You put the traps in front of the cavalry, or you put them in chokeholds. Basically to slow the enemy down, which is the only, which helps the hobbits because they've only got four inches of movement. Um, the trouble is, if you know how to, if you know what the traps do, they basically knock you prone or do a strength one hit. And you just use your chaff models like orc trackers or even like a minister of warrior, trigger them and just walk straight through them. And then as soon as you get to the hobbits, they all die, even if you've got 60 of them. Yeah. The biggest trouble with hobbits is that the four inches of movement is so much smaller than you think. You it is four compared to six is so annoying. Um little man syndrome. The little man <laughs> syndrome because what you think is okay the hobbits you've got 60 models you're going to be able to get lots of tracks off you're going to be able to get loads of three v ones two v ones but you can't because they don't actually have the movement to go 
from the flanks round into the back of the enemy troops and then everything dies because you're d3 everywhere the only caveat to that is that the ambushers so basically at the start of the game before any models are deployed a single warband led by a hobbit hero not frodo sam mary or pippin can ambush onto can, you can choose to not deploy them with your forces, but ambush. And basically, that can be quite good because you can choose, for example, Farmer Maggot and his three dogs and then nine archers. And as they deploy in a scenario like Recon or Command the Battlefield, you can almost guarantee to gain that objective. Um, but then if the enemy managed to get their troops to you, you do also just die. So... Yeah, I would say it's a dog list. It's I think it's not... slightly better than that because it can auto win a fair few scenarios with that ambush, as we found out playing it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were plotting something, Sam. It's a Sam were there just... chuckling to himself. <laughs> you know, devious actions are occurring. <laughs> I just knew it. In the grand scheme of things, you can also only play it up to about 600 points. And at 600 points, the game is boring because you have 85 models and they're moving four inches every turn and you've got no spear support, so you have to do a 90-model long line. Yeah. I, I went to an Escalation event where someone brought it and it was up to 888 and they had like 120 models. It just no, It's not fun. It's not fun for anyone. The, the list traps- is... Yeah, it's, it's, it's ner- bottom of nervous at best and that's like... Yeah, but I, I think that's where it belongs. The bottom of nervous. Have, above, just because of the, the power of the ambush. You can ambush with 12 bows, annihilate something. The 12 bow ambush is really fun. Like, it is a good, fun legion to play, but it's just not competitive. No, it's really ha- not. However, if you do get those scenarios like Recon, Command the Battlefield, I did. I came second at one of the Tom Smell events last year, and that's just because all the scenarios fell sort of into my lap, which I guess... Yeah, bottom of nervous. I'm I'm happy with it there personally. Yeah, let's keep. Same. Let's move on. It sounds like we have at least three who are happy with it there, so that is a call to move on. Uh, next up, we have the ruffians. Unbelievable legion. Trash. This is dog. I played it once, till I tabled it in three turns. This Chelsea. is Chelsea. <laughs> that is Chelsea. Yeah. I remember this. I played this at Norwich, and I had like I had like my fifty-five corsairs versus like seventy ruffians that stormed the camp, <laughs> and I had like twenty arbalesters that literally probably killed like eight a turn, nine a turn, just constantly churning. <laughs> and it got to me. I had more models than it, and then the throwing daggers were also nervous. So <laughs> it's it is some of the some of the heroes you get and the the abilities they do, the little the niche special rules, they are really cool. And the, I mean, Sharky with his 18 inch transfix on a two plus. Um, the, I don't know. Harry Goatleaf. Is Harry Goatleaf the, the one that just stops you? you with on, the lantern. Is he the one that's like, yeah. oh, yeah, you can't move? Yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah Someone sets a building on fire as well. That's, a building on yeah. fire is just fun. But then you also have Worm, who's like 10 points of a free hero kill. Yeah, Worm is really, really bad. You have um the, the bold guy that looks Worm. a bit like a wrestler. Um, <laughs> He's the only one with two attacks. He's the banner. I don't remember his oh, name. Oh, John Cena. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> John Cena, he's class. Got I mean, my favourite MSBG model. <laughs> yeah. I mean, realistically, it's a it's a proper Chelsea list. Um, yeah. I had it once. I had a similar experience to you, Sam. I tabled it with Mercury Rangers at Recon before it even got to me. Oh, James, yeah. that's awful. <laughs> it's so fun Sweaty. to play against, and I rate everyone that plays it so highly. Yeah. It's definitely but an awesome list, but particular... it's just trash. You need to be a, a particular type of player to take this list, and I love it. You need to be a proper, so proper man. Losing. You need to be an absolute <laughs> man to and take this. And you need this. to have a fat wallet because the Russians yeah. are not cheap. Yeah, no, it's it's. Uh, just, I think that's so, definitely our first Chelsea. It's, it's a so Chelsea. dog shit. Yeah, to put it lightly, but it's fun no. as anything. So. <laughs> right, let's let's move on. Next up, we have the breaking of the fellowship. So, Elliot, Elliot, tell Elliot, us how Elliot, good Elliot. this. Tell us how good this list is, please. Oh, shit. I totally hadn't even thought about that. Go on, shout, <laughs> shout out. Shout out I to your totally list. I totally hadn't even yeah, thought about that. Um, but yeah, I had a bit Nervous of a negative Legion. experience against this Legion. Uh, <laughs> I choked a game. 
and uh, it's kind of transformed itself into legend. Uh, so I think it's a lemon list in that case. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know where I'd put it. Um, it's grey company sort of level. Uh, I think it's I quite think... strong. It's got so many good special rules. I would personally take it. Um, I take the grey company over it though. In my opinion, I, I think personally, I would take it just because it's more of a cool, like more of a fun list to play. Mm. It's slightly more unique with all the special rules and stuff. I think in the competitive scene, it is dog. Unfortunately, yeah. I'd, I'd say yeah. it's the very top of dog. I think the Grey Company is better than it. Personally, I'd probably say the Wolves is better than it as well. No, it's better than Grey Company. Yeah, really. The special rules you get in it are really good. They are really I can't remember what they all are to be fair, but it they've they've got about a hundred, but they yeah. are <laughs> it's better than Great Company. I, I don't know what Vince and Sam think. Yeah, it's better than Great Company. Put it there. Let's go next one. Yeah. <laughs> are we happy? Yeah. It's okay. yeah, some of the rules you get off. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's leave it there. Uh next up we have Lutz's Scouts. Where are we both Lutz? Um Oh, this is the bottom of silly nervous. Top so, of nervous. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I, I really like those scouts. It's it's similar to Ugluk scouts. Maybe a little worse just because Ugluk scouts yeah. get spears, but they're essentially the same list. You get a better leader. Um, they're really good. You know, eight inch move everywhere. You get the drum. That's throwing yeah. a shield is also just cool. Yeah, the shield is really good. Yes, yeah, it's, it's cool, but it's. <laughs> I'd I'd put it above Black Gate, but below Fairdre. Yeah. His heroic challenge rule is just that is good. It's Although I had that always. happen to me, and a Merkwood Ranger captain just destroyed Lurts. So <laughs> Jamie like... is going to have something to say about this being where we're putting it. Jamie's going to have something to say the fact that we put his football team at the bottom of bottom. <laughs> so bring it on. Um, yeah, I think it's above Blackgate, but below Thedra's guard, which is where it yeah. is. If we're happy with that, yeah, yeah. Okay, next up we have the Depths of Moria. Balrog mm. and friends. This is well, a legion I've always wanted back. to take. Yeah, it's even... The 5-plus shooting bus literally makes no difference because you don't really ever wound the barrel from shooting as it is. Um, It's it's cool. You might be able to set someone on fire with the special rule once, um, but Pers- you're never going to use it. That's pretty yeah, dark mechanic. I, I don't think the Balrog is very good. He's nervous at best. Yeah, at I, best. I think it's probably it's top of dog. I like it's better, definitely better dog. than the grey company. No, no, no. But... It's a nervous list. It's definitely not dog. Yeah, I agree. It's the fact that it scales really well because you get a battlefield wide drum and yeah, the drum taken, is brilliant. Taken at higher points, that's a phenomenal rule. <laughs> the barrels are so expensive. He's got but no what, at, again. When you're trying to compare lists, certain lists peak at different points, and this list gets yeah. better at higher points. I, I just think it's better as general, just Moria, than as the Legion. Because no, the Battlefield Wide Drum, I think, is is something. Yeah, you can take you're... that normal Moria though, can't you? No, it's eighteen inches or twelve. Is it? Uh, yeah, so that's the fact. This is what I mean. At a, thousand, at a thousand points, when you're playing on a six by four board, having a Battlefield okay. Wide Drum, that's the. Sort can you of... take Marauders in the Legion? Do you know? Um, I could grab it. If so, I'll make that battlefield wide drum even better because we're gonna convince convince you here, James, are we? Yeah, I, I think you are to be honest. Does the drum the drum gives you hub and journey anyway, doesn't it? Or... It gives you plus one and minus one to the enemy. Yeah. So you Which cannot really take you cannot take marauders. What, you what can take you Black Shield Shamans though. Oh. Black Shield Shamans are cheesy, but um you so goblins within six inches of the barrel get plus one to their fight. And this is the the, the rule that um, you may have been overlooking. It's essentially the same as Sauron. So um, this army will never be considered broken so long as the barrel yeah, has true, six I did or that. more wounds. I, do I don't that, think it's particularly hard to do five wounds to a barrel, though. Oh, I don't fight ten with four attacks. Mm. I think, I think that's personally lists. just because I'm an elf player, but I think lots of lists are going to want to run away from the Balrog. So then, if you're not doing any wounds on it considering yep. every scenario is it every scenario in the game has vps for break yeah. uh, not having access to those vps is a really big deal 
Agreed. Yeah, it's good. Oh, I've only ever played against this Legion once. No, the drum with cap- Rangers. Sorry, Elliot. It it did just fall. What's that about the drum? So the drum also counts as banner VPs. Oh, does it? So uh, yeah, I think you're really underselling this Legion. This is top and nervous. Oh, it's definitely not top and nervous. I don't think it's top and nervous. I think it's some. It's, it's easily above the Shire. I'd put yeah. it above the Mummock and. I'd say it's uh, above the Dunmore Mark. for them. It's better yeah. than Dunland. It's yeah. definitely better than the. I don't think it's better than Blackgate. I think it's higher than Blackgate. Nah. Yeah, See, I, I think we're going to have to revisit the nervous tier at the end. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I, I disagree with stuff. where the Return of the King has ended up, if I'm honest with I you. do as well. I do as well. So we'll leave it there for now, kind of in the middle of nervous, and then we'll revisit this at the end because I'm sure we'll be adding some more in there as well. Uh, okay. Next up, we have the Black Riders. I've never played against this, so I, I don't know. I've never I've... played against a competent player using this list. I know Sam has played against <laughs> it multiple times in a row and had a great time. <laughs> I've played this like four or five times. Um, it's the most... It's really lemon, I'll be honest with you. Uh, it is ridiculous. Um, if you don't have countermeasures for courage, i.e. bodyguard, swarm protector... Uh, stuff like Dane with 12 inch fearless, Saruman with 12 inch fearless, you are having an awful time. Um, the there are niche cases where, for example, like um, Wolves of Isengard, where it how does it kill? It's X- got a shaman though, hasn't it? It does, but that shaman is dead instantly, realistically. Yeah. Um, true. How does it kill 38 40 mounted models when it only has one attack? It doesn't. Um, but against majority armies, it's it has just so much control. It's unbelievable. Um, I played against Ed twice with this list. Um, one with my Angmar, and uh, like you, you know, you it just everything. You can't do anything. The Witch King just gets out outpaced with the magic they have. Yeah. Um, your Bow Whites are essentially useless. Um, there <laughs> you might as well just keep them as Courage Seven objective markers. Um, good of art is Courage 1 so he can never do anything and even if he does get into combat you have 7 um, shrieks coming at you um, it's it's really 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 punishing if you do not know what you're doing against it and even if you do sometimes with the army you're using or the um, scenario it's you're you're fighting up you're fighting an uphill battle essentially um yeah the first few times i play against a competent player with this list i'm gonna get smoked i just know it and you i've can well. known it's gonna be coming for quite a while it just hasn't happened so <laughs> because you, you know you essentially have to stay 27 in you'll have to keep your hero leader outside of 27 inches all the time because of march march 12 inch back dart um it's 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 proper vile. It's top. It's it's lemon. It just so is lemon. It's lemon. Ooh, I think I, I, think I agree. It's, I agree. It's lemon. I have only actually played against it once. I did like it was in the doubles with you, Ash. Um, I had a Lendl and Glorfindel. So obviously, it, it wasn't it wasn't very good against me. So we just kind of chewed through it quite quickly. Yeah. But how does it do against like mass shooting though? I think that's There's... one of the obvious shooting dehorsing them is the way forward. But yeah. if you're, it depends on the shooting because. You, I feel like you really need archers that have the th- three plus base shoot value. Um, as soon as you go up to your four plus moving, moving, hitting on fives, you need enough of them because if, if they're going to have in the ways like a smart player yeah. with this is always going to be behind terrain when they finish their move, or they, you know, they when they move second, and if they're you're playing against a good army, for example. They position in the way that all your archers are shooting through through your own models, for example, and then it's like, even though you're in the open, they can't, you can't shoot regardless. Um, it's I think there's just always counterplays. This yeah, list, I always wanted to, I always wanted to try this. It, it seems like seems like a really interesting list to like. I, I, I also it, this is a very me list because it um because you're you need... a terrible person. Yeah, yeah you like playing OP all... armies, don't you, Sam? So. I'm yeah, the worst of the Golems games. Please don't stop playing this list because I'll have to practice against you with it all the time. And yes, I, I don't do. want to do that. I don't think it's Lemon. If it we're totally saying is. Lemon is the top, top best list in MSBG at the moment, I think this we're going to end up. That. I think we're going to end up with about 
five lists in Lemon, and I'd say it's easily one of the top five really? lists of the game. I, I would definitely top, put it in I'm Lemon. silly nervous, but it's just compared to what Assault Upon Helm's Deep brings, it's, it, it's just yeah, way I don't. Low. I don't think it's above assault, but yeah, it's it I can do be bottom of lemon. lemon. It can be. I mean, this loses lemon. to salt, I mean, doesn't it? Bottom of lemon or top of silly nervous? Sure, it has to be I in just... the hands of a very good player. I'm that thinking is yeah, its yeah, limit. I'm I think. Like we said it's... earlier, we're we're assuming that it's in the hands of a competent player, and I think it's yeah, better definitely. Than Rise but of I think for it to actually perform, just as a list in general, it, it literally it has to. Otherwise, it is kind of trash. Yeah. Admit, admittedly, the only I've, the other time I played against it, I was using Bjornings and I did win a recon, but that's because it was just a poor matchup for the Black Riders player. Yeah. Um, I just made sure that I just essentially just played it the best I could, um, just moving up the board very slowly. And when you're resistant to magic everywhere, all of your models have two wounds or more. The two um, wounds is the, horrible the for Black models, Riders. Yeah, you're and it's just a resistant just rolling one dice and because they cast on a five six just rolling one dice oh it's a five and one of their spells is instantly disappearing it's so powerful um an army that has full resistant can do well versus it um that, that's, that includes lothlorien um the bears yeah, I mean, J, really... J. Claire did beat uh, the Masters with Lothlorien. Yeah it's the Bears are really good. Did it lose the every game at the Masters? No it beat Jamie's Emperor. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for that. killed the emperor. Um, yeah. The contest. <laughs> I would, nice. I would put, I would argue it's top of silly nervous and not lemon. I mean, this is a very, very niche case, but there is nothing more fun than playing Black Riders with the defenders of the Shire Legendary. League. Oh, I was about to say that as well. <laughs> because that way. is, that is one game that you are going to have the best time with. The traps <laughs> destroy them. They've got no chaff models. Having your five point hobbits having resistant to magic. So any spell they cast <laughs> is never worth it. Yeah, you can just encircle them with the traps and just run them for the hundred. Yeah, insert, and then also it's, you've it's, got it's, 20 bows or whatever. I mean, I know it's in each case, but it's fun. Yeah, they're, it's, they're it's like well. the it's it's like the ending scene in uh, the Return of the King when they're all just swarming around the outside of the Men <laughs> yeah. of the West. And they yeah. just close in. <laughs> the Black the Riders Hobbit. have nowhere; they've just no. got nothing to do. Encased in Hobbits, um, but yeah, I think it seems like the consensus is bottom of Lemon. Yeah. They have really bad matchups sometimes, and um, if a player that is against them knows what they're doing in that matchup, um, they can they do really struggle sometimes. Yeah. You don't have a list that really struggles against Assault. Yeah, but I'm not saying that it's above Assault. That's not the argument. I'm well, saying in yeah, the Lemon yeah. tier, that I think those better. are... Yeah, I think that's why it's at the bottom of the Lemon. Yeah, but... I think it's better than Riders That's why it should be defenders. silly nervous, not... Because yeah, that's like saying Assault Assault doesn't struggle army-wise. It struggles some scenario-wise. Yeah. That's that... Just because it's in Lemon doesn't... Well, if I'm playing Assault in the Dark, I'm not that worried, to be honest. No, Assault's really good in the dark, brother. Yeah, James. No, I, I personally, I wouldn't be as worried in the dark. Because, I mean, I get the effect of blind light and the crossbows can't get to me, shoot me as I'm getting to them. The but that one move. turn when the crossbows shoot oh, yeah. you, strength the blisters totally the can. Say they only hit one, like, all right, that's all right. I think you can take a blister a turn. I think it, I th this oh, easy. Is, is bottom of lemon, I think. Um, it's very few matchups um, can do well against it. But like I said, that's only very few. Um, and if you're playing a certain scenario, or if you're playing some, most armies, they just they just lose. It's just so so. And that's not a lemon effect. list. What? <laughs> that's not a lemon what? list. Some armies you just do lose. No, I'm saying there's a very very few armies you do lose lose against. I think that's yeah. That I don't think there's any list in the game that doesn't have that ash. Yeah, that's proper stupid for me, brother. Yeah, no, no army's gonna have a hundred percent win rate, are they? Like, that would be <laughs> no, insane. No, 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 no. I mean, I, I think we're just disagreeing on the the tier lemon itself. If I that's think... gonna be the best list in the game, Black Riders is very strong, but it's not the the, the it, ceiling and the matchup. You personally go... predicted it to win the Masters. I'd like to rem remind you of that. Yeah, that's, that's I didn't know fact. that. That's true. That's true. That does kind of change things. I mean, Ash, would you say it's <laughs> not better? <laughs> Than defenders or riders of Thaden. It's definitely better than defenders of riders. It's top. Of, it's it's bottom of lemon. Oh, it's a lemon. Yeah, yeah. It is. Bottom Sorry. Of lemon. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's move on. Next up, we have Kirith on goal. Great legion. 
silly nervous silly moment. nervous it's a solid yeah. legion i think it's better than scouts oh, i'd say it's better than defenders better than defenders I do disagree with that. Ooh. I think a high skill player, hundred percent. Like Farmer, we've seen him do incredibly well with it. Yeah, yeah but are we defenders. putting? Are we saying we're putting every list in Farmer's hands though? No, and definitely not. But we're saying if a competent player's using it, that's what we're saying. So you can get the most out of his toolkit. It does, and have it does have a very difficult toolkit, to use agree. toolkit. Yeah, she loves really good in this legion. She's good anyway without the bonuses. Oh, don't know if I'd agree she's good without the bonuses. But yeah, not with the. She's, she's definitely good with them. No, she's amazing for ninety points. So hard to kill. She's so fast. Uh, it's just so useful. Right, not when your Merc and Rangers have got hatred of spider. <laughs> <laughs> she's got one attack with no might. Yeah, she Doesn't just matter. gets. Just, that's not her. Her role isn't to necessarily kill stuff. She's just she holds What's up. What's she doing then? In specifically Ali's event, she could be really good getting the six wounds off the board. That is true. But I did actually play Kira's Ungle at Recon and she never made it off the board. All right, I don't you know. The Rangers, though. I, I, I actually played it three times at that event. And you played Kira's Ungle three times in one of Three times now. into the West, yep. Yeah. I, I did destroy it 10 0 each time, but I still think it's a brilliant list. <laughs> oh, that's why you did so well at Into the West Day. It all makes sense now. <laughs> but uh, where is it? Keep it where it is. I, I retract my statement. You don't think it's better than Defenders? No. I've okay. kind of been swayed a little bit. I think I think it's in the right ballpark. I think they're fairly close. Yeah. I'm they happy have... with it. Below. James talking about his. Huge successes, especially knowing his yeah, but skill I've level. Yeah, got a great matchup. Means yeah, so. yeah, it seems like three he's of us have agreed. Spider, and he's <laughs> playing, uh, yeah, it's not comparable. Uh, it's I think it's no. low. It's I think it's good where it is. Okay, um, we can revisit. Um, so moving on, we have speaking of the Merkwood Rangers, James Lemon, easy. Yeah, I don't know. They've got to be the best shooting army in the game. It's hard to argue that. Yeah, against it. Yeah. Elf shooting. They're. I mean, they have very low numbers, the the but pile. they don't really care. Oh yeah, assault, I, I yeah. wouldn't. <laughs> I I wouldn't say assault is literally just the shooting army though. In the same way, Merkwood Rangers is shooting. Yeah, yeah, and being invisible. Yeah, you, you, people can't shoot back at you. Then they get to you, they swarm you, and you still outfight them with the knife fighter rule. It's brilliant. You got Tauriel to crush heroes if you need to. Sentinel is incredibly good for anything that's got low courage or even just mid. I think it's, it's better got, than like it's got scouts. a lot of control. Uh, sorry, ugly like scouts. It's better than ugly scouts. You think this list is oh, definitely not better than ugly like scouts? Is it better than scouts? It's, it's a defense three army though. It's like, a nervous list. At, it's a, it can't be more than a nervous list. It's got to be near the top of nervous. What 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 point level does it? Is it best at six hundred points? But it's the same as perfect. the scouts as well. Yeah, they can. And anywhere between four fifty and six hundred, I think this list thrives at. At low points, it's really good. Yeah. Does it win events though? Is it like? Not I really. I don't remember if it's actually one. That, that, that's why it's capped at nervous, really. But yeah, we said that, that earlier. I, I, I think just saying. Um, if it wins events, because very few lists actually win events. Yeah, yeah. I just don't see it being silly nervous. It's not the same. No, I don't think it is. It's if you're, it's a, it's one of those lists where it leans so heavily into one aspect of the game, and yeah, it's just that, uh, is, that is the shooting aspect. And if your shooting this. isn't yeah. enough, you do lose. Yeah, if that doesn't work out, like what do you I do? would disagree with that slightly. So you say you always lose. I don't think that's true due to the the knife fight, every roll and ones. You can shield the legion as well. And your five it does, five, it does have combat. slight countermeasures for that. It does, but majority armies have uh, your spear sports, and this, just having a spear sport completely negates the knife fighter rule. Um, yeah, if they get to choose the combat, that's that's yeah. Thing. So and even then, then you can shield and you've got the same dice, you're going to be a higher fight. With like, no banner. 
at d3. Yeah, but if you're if you're using your brain with the legion, you'll have killed the mana. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. Mark, always, the mana's so on the board. How many points are they each? Like fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, they are. Yes. I don't see how you can not always have the banner be. Um... So you kill the two guys in front of it, and then you kill the banner last. But even it is a really oh, strong know. legion. Um, I think it's pretty damn strong. I think it's saying nervous, it. But... I think saying it's better than Ugly like Scouts was probably a bit brash. I'd say yeah. it's better than Lurch Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but uh, you guys kind of swung me on the black gate, though. So I don't know. I think it's somewhere in this ballpark. I think it's better I than, think it's better than it, black. I gate. think it's better than black gate. Um, what, what's above black gate right now? Lurtz's gate. Uh, um, Lurtz's gate. Lurtz's gate. Lurtz's gate. <laughs> that is a great thing. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, go I, I don't mind it being the same. I, I'd say it's fine there. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think that's fair. It's in the same realm as Lurtz's scouts. I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, moving on, we have the Vanquishers of the Nexus. Anyone... Pre Prina Fleming, but has anyone <laughs> ever played this? No, I have you played have, it I think. <laughs> in a solo hammer game. Solo hammer? <laughs> that Surely not. If anyone doesn't know what that is, that is <laughs> Elliot have. playing against himself at his own house. Surely not. <laughs> That's how you get all the all the <laughs> tactics on the hook. Oh, uh, so I've semi played against it. Perfect 50% win. And winner. played with it as well. So and with it, you must yeah. be an expert. I know everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't mean he's played actually... with no, it doesn't mean he's played well against or with it though. <laughs> Did you win or lose against yourself, Elliot? What was the it's outcome of that? Say game? that really, isn't it? It's it's, no, it's, it's got hard to call. 50 percent win rate, Ash, apart from the draws. Yeah. <laughs> Did you draw yeah. against yourself it's on hard. purpose? <laughs> <laughs> That's a draw. Guys, if you're excited for bat reps, that's what you're gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> that's all it's gonna be. Um, has anyone played against it at an event? No. no. I've only read up I swear on you how have Sam um, in Bournemouth. You had your card. Oh my god, I totally have played this list at an event. <laughs> yeah. um... <laughs> no, Sam. Just... No, it's been, been so, so many events. Black Riders. It was totally. It yes, does destroy it's... Black Riders. Yes, However, it totally should have destroyed me because I was using my card. And... Yeah, the chariots are pretty good against magic, though. That is so <laughs> false, James. I don't know where you got that information. Um, unless I've read the rules on them wrong. You, you, I, I thought it said they can't blast. be. I thought they couldn't be affected by certain things. They can't be affected by Sorcerer's Blast, but you can well you can, and truly compel them. Oh, you, you can, oh, you can events, still compel. Oh, you can well and truly compel no, them. No, I, I didn't think you could um, compel and move them. So I remember Sam saying that when he first got the chariots. But then... You can't you can't <laughs> compel and turn them 180 because that's their full move, but you yeah. can still compel, move turn them 45 oh, okay three, yeah. turn them 45 move two um, that's gotta be a it's really bad moment. and i did win i, <laughs> I want to seize the prize first then does anyone still play vanquishers like i don't see it like i don't ever. think so that's a have war played... game sort of vibe <laughs> no one really plays it, it but shout out Green, to have uh... war games yeah but i never did so it's a shame it was only like a month or two of um you know, carnage wasn't it at a few events i don't really know where this goes it did win those events as well though yeah, yeah before the nerf it was insanely strong because you could cast in combat no you can still cast in combat you just can't cast spells like sorcerer's blast while yeah in exactly combat. yeah it's the, only the spells some... that matter <laughs> i think Not... it's around it's... the top of dog no it's above no dog. it's nervous 100 uh, it's yeah. definitely nervous it's yeah. way better yeah. than the shire this okay. is yeah, because you can't do nature's wrath, wrath of Brunan and sources blast, but everything else you yeah. still can. Um, it's if quick question: if you channel, do you get to do both spells at the channeled version, or do you have to pick one? That's a great question. I guess so. It's yeah. only shadow mana gets to do that, isn't it? But I don't. <clears throat> don't well, know. like the necromancer as well gets to cast two spells. One That's moment. A... I've never thought about that. That's, I... that's big brain from you, Ashley. Thanks, mate. <laughs> is it better than Black Gate? No. Is it better than? See, I think it's just because I've never, I haven't seen this since the nerf. Yeah. I don't really know. I, I think it sits with Grand Army of the South. I think it's sort of like a niche mummock list where. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I put it just above Gothmog. 
I think it's so hard to compare to like other legions. It's just so different. <clears throat> Again, it's a, it's, a, it's a it's a list that swings. Mind. So yes. it, it, it like like Rangers swing into shooting. It swings into magic beyond belief, and yeah. it's just it, yeah. The load model count is so detrimental. It's, it's yeah, just, it's, it's got no movement really. Yeah, it's, it's so slow. It's like Black Riders, but just much and they slower. all have to be in a bubble for it to be particularly yeah, effective. But that uh, bubble is unbelievable. That effective. bubble is impenetrable. But... Yeah. It's, it's a pretty nervous bubble. It's a nervous, <laughs> it's a nervous bubble. It's a pretty nervous bubble. I'm okay. It's in the nervous tier, so it's perfect. Yeah. So we have the Pits of Dogledore. Using Pits um, is something I've done quite a lot. I used it last year at about maybe 10 GBHL events or something and did disastrous with it every single time I used it. So yeah. it's a Chelsea list. <laughs> no, it's definitely not a Chelsea list. It's It's a nervous list. It's a nervous list, yeah. yeah. Um, it's got I that mean, incredible priority rule. Yeah, it's really strong. As of with six, might having a free combat is pretty crazy. Yeah, it's good. The worst bit about it is just everything outside of Azog. I think literally you can only take captains, list, which are yeah, very, the entire list yeah. really outside of Azog. I think. Oh no, sorry, you can take the keeper. Dog. Yeah, the keeper's good. I, I think it requires know, a warhorn as well. I think this is a silly nervous like. Ooh. I completely disagree. Hard like, disagree. Yeah. Azog, with the free row combats, the auto priority, and you get hunter orcs. You get you know fell wilds. You, you, what don't you have in that in that, that legion? So so the only thing that you gain in the legion is the priority rule, which is really really good. Yeah. Um, and you trade uh master battle for a free yeah. row combat and your D five. So you get resistant to magic, which is really good. Uh, at higher points, it stops Azog from being shut down as much. Uh, yep. But you're also, you know, let's say you do get uh, compelled into trouble or something on the WAG. Um, you do get resistant now to magic. Now you're D5. Though. Yeah, yeah, so, which is good. So what don't you like about the Legion then? Is it the D5 or is it... I think it's up? that. So ultimately you're putting all the eggs in the basket of as of yeah. winning you the game because the army isn't really good at all i don't think um yeah the hunter okay. and gundabads are good they're fight three the hunter yeah, they're great die. the troops are great i don't but you have to have I the hunter orcs at the front and they just die very easily when they lose yeah the fights. i think if if you're running hunter orcs you've seen quite a lot of success in the league recently with them being ran as a pure hunter orcs list which i do yeah. think is really good but I think when you take Azog, you don't get that high numbers. And like James says, you have to have the Hunter Orcs at the front. If Azog doesn't really churn through stuff, you lose. Agreed. I, uh, I, I it, played yeah. one event with this, which you lent it to me earlier. I had two incredible games where I tabled the opponent. And then I had yeah. one game where Azog didn't do very well and I lost 12-0. I think yeah. that pretty much sums up really, this, to be honest. Really swingy. Like if, if there was a buff uh to the troops in some way the none of the azog stuff has access to fight for anywhere outside of like the monsters and the berserkers all the troops are fight three and fight three armies often rely on heroes and buffs um you know so azog in this case and that's it really i don't know i think you're underrating the auto priority that can be game winning it's really it can it can it can win you a game like, like it's it won it me games the game. for sure yeah um, uncountable and just that that key yeah that key move it can win you the game it's like, really, really i'm not good. saying it's not obviously it's not like it's not going to guarantee anything but it will give, give you a really, really good chance. I, I think that's the issue with it personally, Vince. I, I'd say that, sure, it gives you the opportunity to do stuff, but it's actually not that easy to carry it out with the list. Yeah. Yeah. As of, he's just so, with, with his fell site as well, and you can't properly, you can't properly dismount him. Like, no, you can dismount him, but it's really difficult because the White Warg is just... The White Warg as well, once, yeah. if they are dismounted... Uh, voluntary or not the white wag is incredibly good like there's yeah, nothing yeah, negative to say although there's there's the whole discussion about the trade-off with azog for the heroic combat for the master of battle the heavy armor that's a discussion but everything around azog really isn't what the problem is in my opinion no. it's about the army and yes you can have access to a horn and if the good and bad captains are decent they can sit there in the line and not die really okay hunter captains on foot are good but uh, you know the army isn't enough compared to m 
what most other what armies are going to be facing. Yeah, it's yeah. Just... Apart from Azog, but that's kind of the start and end yeah. of it, in my opinion. Where where are we ranking this? Personally, I think it's going um, somewhere around. Merc I think Rangers. it's going just above the Merkwood Rangers. Yeah, sort of level. I think it's better than Blackgate. Yeah. Um, I think it's more of an all round list than the Rangers, so it's definitely above that. Um, what's, so it's uh, Lurch's Scouts, and what's above that? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's as good as Lurch's Scouts. Uh, then they Lurch's got Scouts. Yeah, no, I think, I think it's better than Lurch's Scouts for sure. I don't think it is. I think having move eight on everything, high model count, lots of bows, Urukai, really good profile models. I just like Azog is amazing, but I think outside of Azog, it's quite poor. I I'd say Azog it's quite a new friendly up. legion, but apart from that, yeah, like, you don't you don't yeah. really see it played. I, it does it does hit hard. Like it can it can do well given the right matchups and scenarios. Um, oh, just, uh, but the fight seven free arrow combats. That's that's just it's so yeah. good. It's insane. I'm a, yeah, it's. I'm agreeing with what Vince is saying, but then I'm also agreeing with what Elliot's <laughs> saying. I'm like stuck in a in two minds. It's a uh, nervous position to be in, Sam. Sam mate, just one, it. two, three, four, five, six. It mate. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to put it, but I'm silly nervous. But do I think it's the same as those lists, or I don't know. I, I but then the third card. It's better than Fabius God. I don't think so. No, I don't think so That's either. Right. I think as an all-round list, it's got it's got tools. It's like I mean, Hans it Roth, does, but it's not spread Roth, out. Has it actually got tools though? It's it's got Azog. It's got Azog, and that's it. It's 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 got the Prio, which can really win you games. Like it, it doesn't it's, totally can. It's won me games, yeah. But um, outside of that, if Azog doesn't do well, if you play a caster. Yes, you have resistance to magic and you have will and might, but um, you know I've had games where I've just rolled awfully on my resist and you lose. I've, and you ought to be using that might to get the combats off to actually do damage with Azog. Yeah, it's all your eggs in one basket, really. That's it, yeah. and I don't think a list where you put everything into one hero is a silly nervous list. Hence, the reason the Balrog is below it's that, that game. That, it's not even that expensive. What he does, like the, I mean, the Balrog's like what four hundred points? Three fifty. Yeah, three fifty. I mean, as of <laughs> not He's close two fifteen in the legion. The yeah, issue is, which is so is, cheap. For yeah, what it, it does. is two fifteen. But what that's hardly eggs in one basket. Like might be two twenty five, something like that. The reason it's eggs in one basket is that as as you go up to higher points, not even only at higher points, but you don't get very high model count. Still, although he is cheap for what he brings, you still don't end up. If it was like a horde army plus Azog. Then that's a lot better because you've got so many models where you don't really care if you lose combats. I kind of but you don't usually end up with that many. I kind of consider him like I'm trying to compare him to say Bard with kids. I, I thought that as well, yeah. So you're paying so Bard with kids and Alfred is 205, and Azog is say let's say he's 215 or 225. You're getting extra fight value, you're straight five, but you're saying resistant to, to magic. You're resistant to threes. You're too got the warg. You've got the warg, which die, uh, which has two wounds and fate and stuff. It's way better. I just oh, it gives you a twelve-inch banner though. But yeah, but the, you banner, get banner. the banner is the main thing because you're you have yeah. to pay an extra thirty extra po- thirty points on top of Azog to get the banner effect, but which I mean, isn't anywhere near as good of a banner effect. It's yeah, it's so. But in, in that comparison, Azog is still kind of winning. Mm-hmm. But then, what else you can bring with Bard in that Legion to make it better is way better than everything else that you get in pits. It's literally just Hunter Orc and Gundabad spam with captains. That's it. Wherein survivors, you can add in all kinds of other tools. It's a it's a list that it needs. Like if you play really, if it has good matchups, completely just decimates. Yeah. But if you don't, it just you are a bit of a you're fighting a losing battle to be honest with you. I think it's uh, yeah. I've I don't think it's that it. hard to actually shut out Azog. For me, if I'm you not. position smartly. That's what I'm it, saying. If you have a caster and you don't roll that well and you resist, you just lose the game. But you don't yeah. you don't see this at you don't see casters at lower points where this is usually seen a bit more. Like the the, the like the five hundred 
between five, six hundred, six fifty is where you'd see this list. I think. I, I think that's the thing about the list, though. Some people run it at high points and say it's better. Some people run it at low points and say it's better. Yeah, I think it. I've can, seen both I've, arguments of it. I've I've used it at both at like the six hundred sort of range, like you say, Sam. The issue is that you don't get many models. You get like still 30, only in thirty-ish, thirty-two. Yeah, you get 30. around thirty, really. Which isn't like if it was high thirties, it's completely different because you've got a, a like a horde army that hits hard plus Azog. But like you're gonna have elf lists that are roughly around that, so yeah. they're gonna kill your army, and then you're putting all the eggs in Azog, winning you the game. Final verdict: I'm the second of top of nervous, so above alerts, below Phaedrids. That's what I put it. Yeah. Right, I'm okay, just, yeah. I, I'm okay with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's fine here. We spent a long time in this one. Uh, yeah. But yeah, moving on, we have the uh, Necromancer, <laughs> Necromancer yeah. whatever the name of it is. I totally Legion. have played this. You played was this at Havent. Pompey. I have it was. It was at <laughs> yeah. Havent tournament. Um, I totally did win. I actually played this at Jibu. Um, yeah, I, I totally beat it as well because Asilda just put the ring on and destroyed the Necromancer every turn. Yeah. They didn't when did this come um into the West? It was a third. Uh, into West this came second or third, yeah. This came into the it, it wasn't what? the this Legion. Came... It, it, this, this was year? just it wasn't the Legion, yeah. Sam. Oh it was, yeah, I do remember. It's not the Legion. No, it, it was just a couple of the the ring wraiths with um with hunter orcs and stuff. Interesting. I don't think it was. I think it was loads of Castellans, if I'm not mistaken. Uh maybe. If I it... don't think it had the Necromancer. Yeah, and you have to take the Necromancer in the league. You have to take so. the Necromancer. Well, potentially. Yeah. Yeah. But I... where do we think in terms of ranking? It is pretty strong, to be honest. Like, it's very hard to actually get rid of anything on the board, and it moves around really quickly. Like, it, it doesn't I'm... seem like it will, but because of that, that extra three inch movement or six inch, whatever it is, when they die, they actually just pop up and around kind of killing stuff they're all fight fives they've all got their unique slight abilities it can be quite tricky to deal with i think I over a six game we're... event though i think you're gonna have a better time with army of gothmog and the yes. necromancer is really expensive isn't it just for doing what he, he is he does, he does get two in the legion yeah it Fair, can't be the same but... spell though Still, it's in this. It's not doing enough. It's, I, I yeah. think it's the bottom of nervous, personally. I think it's yeah. It's in this sort of niche area where we have like the vanquishers and the grand army yeah. of the south. It's yeah. in amongst them. It's not complete dog, but it's not amazing. I think it's somewhere around here. Yeah, I'm we okay can revisit. With that. Yeah, I think we that's, a, that's a solid yeah, score. Cool. Okay, moving on. We have the. Uh, is this the Dale Legion or is this the Garrison of Dale? Yeah, this is just the Dale one. So, I, I to my so. understanding, it's. N- only adds in something to do with their bows, right? Or the ballistas or something. Uh, they no, also get, get um bodyguard. You get bodyguard. You get bodyguard, bodyguard. your sword protector, and it's yeah. I think that's it. I have yeah, I think that's right here. It. So oh like, no, you so... get um plus one to wind if they charge, right? Is that in the Legion? No, that's just no, that's just nice. They're Wall of Blade special. Uh, I think you get the you get the three plus I, I think the... you, which is an army bonus that's... regardless, and I think you get sword, sword protector, sword and protector. that's it. Yeah, that is literally. <laughs> so it. I think, yeah. Uh, so it's, the it's army pretty solid as an like army it. goes, though. Like it's not bad. Yeah, it's all right, but it's just it's got nothing special. That's all. It's, it's, it's not really much of a legion. It's just but it's, it's like army of fine, but it's just not. Yeah, not I, I think special. it just sits right quite in the middle of nervous. To be honest, like I'd say it's better than like the necromancer and stuff. It's a yeah, I, it's above Gothmog. It's above the necromancer. I, I'd put it just below it's... army of the dead one, uh, return of the king. Yeah. I, I think that's where it belongs. Well, I don't know, you yeah. know. Swarm Protector is so good. I think Return of the King is better than it. It is, but the majority of the time, if you're not playing Terra, you're not getting as much of an effect of it. Like, sure, it's great when you break in, but if you break in, your heroes died, then sure, it's completely useless. Yeah, I think it needs another special rule. Would you rather take this Legion or the one afterwards? This, this, Which is uh, the one after? Return of the the King. The one afterwards. No, so the next one that's coming up, would you rather take the oh. Army Dale or the I, Army I would rather... Oh, that's a great question. Yes. That's what I mean. Like, I, 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 don't, I think... don't like either of them. I, I prefer your Army of Dale Legion compared to your Defenders of Erebor Legion. Um, yeah, that's I think thing. so, just because I'm not a huge fan of dwarves. 
I it's like the that. rules. The rules are the rules is the rules are just a bit counterintuitive for that legion. They're very niche. The for the defenders herbal where you have to yeah. trap your own hero to get the, the, your free combat and all and like yeah, it is an odd one. I mean, get, getting every hero being a do banner. they get animosity? No, you get every yeah. hero gets a banner. Um, well, you, let's, we'll do that when we come to it. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm place, I think we have to place two. this first. I, I think yeah. it is better than that one, which is why I, I'm I would rather this one go higher and the one that's coming up be placed where it is now. Where where would you put this then? See, I think this is above. Army Goth Mog. I think this is above Mercury Rangers. The Interesting. Uh, I I don't. Oh, I don't think so. No. I don't it's think just... it's above Blackgate. I, Mercury Rangers. I think that's there. I think that's a solid spot to put it in there. Well, there. Yeah. I think that's not too bad. I'd say it's probably better than Army of Dunland. Better than Depths of Moria, but not as good as Blackgate. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really know. I just think it's it's one that doesn't see a lot of play as well. It's just so standard. There's it's nothing. No cav. Your heroes are pretty it's good. It's like middle of the park. It's nothing. Oh, oh but sorry. The Return of the King's gone way down though. I think that should definitely be there. We're getting Wasn't into it? moving around territory at yeah. the Return of the King. We can maybe just place it here around there, yeah, there and then we'll come there. back. Yeah, fine. Right. I think that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the next one we have the Defenders of Erebor. Lee he Robbins wanted... really tried to make this one work, mm. didn't he? And just yeah, he didn't. didn't do an awful job for the Legion he itself. Didn't. He for the Legion itself and the rules you get that aren't exactly great. He performed fairly well, but pretty well. He did. I think that's just because he's a very experienced, good player, though. He is, especially I... using those dwarves. Mm. Yeah, like yeah. I, said, I just think this maybe is worse that's than the Legion. That's the highest sort of ceiling you can get it to, and that still exactly. wasn't that great. Yeah, no. I think we chuck it in. I think we're going to have a bit of a move around in Nervous. I think we chuck it in with the rest, and then we'll come back to it. Uh, yeah, I think we just put it just below where the Dale was just, was just. but Yeah, leave it there. Yeah, I think we'll leave it there, and we'll come back. Right, next up, we have oh, the Sam Gratton, here you go, mate. Controversial. <laughs> this one's an interesting one. Um, so... We need a four-hour podcast <laughs> on only this Legion. Just the next two. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing I could literally say about this army for, for bloody hours. I, I I just hesitate putting it in lemon. Yeah, I don't think it's lemon. I don't think it's lemon. I yeah, think the perception I, in the I think it's definitely at the top of silly nervous though. The perception in the community at the moment is that it's a lemon list, but I don't think it's a lemon list. Like yeah. the it's it, admittedly it's one of those armies where it's really really not fun to play against. It's similar to your assault where you 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 come up against it and you can't play your army in the way you want to play your army. You have to play it how you yeah you can totally it. just be oppressed by the bears. Yeah, you have to play it how you have to play it. And if you choose not to, if you choose to walk into the bears, you will lose. That's just how it is. Um, Apart from that one time you got destroyed by the Riders of Theoden. I totally, yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> um, but even. I will say though, like, yes, they kill so easily, but that can also be a bad thing because they I can't agree. go on lethal and you can actually end up killing too quickly. Yeah, there's no option to shield or anything. It's yeah, you either kill or you don't fight. But then you can actually end up, if, you know, just losing that way. I, I know yeah. you can. you can try and kind of. Slow down, but it is difficult because they are so killy, like unbelievable. I've this, yeah, I've had this verse Ash where you start to you start to not two hand. Yeah, that's the only way. <laughs> and even then, it's still killing stuff. Yeah, you start to not two hand. You start to not go burly and two check two check four attacks. It's still pretty good. I mean, Can you choose not to go burly. That's is that a thing? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Because it's a hand and a half axe, isn't it? Yeah, so you can just choose not to. If you just oh, right. don't go two hand. Oh right, that's what you mean. Okay, you, yeah. you can choose to go one handed. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. like the bears, you can barge with, and I think it's a case of when you play objective scenarios, you have to play smart with them. Like a, 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 the difference between a good player, uh, a really competitive, strong player with this list, compared to someone that's just picked up because they think they're gonna do amazingly well with it is. It does take that kind of skill because you're at the end of the day you're you're on a low model count army compared to usual with um with low might 
And if you spend your resources in bad ways of, you know, I mean, sometimes going for a move off is important because it gets you X, Y, and Z. But if you lose that, that's just a, one of your mic gone. And yeah. it's... The it six is, mic is, is... You need to play really... It's bad, yeah. Like semi kg, semi... Like, but you want to get in their face. It's And like, you can't lose too many to shooting. And if you do, it's... You, you kind of, like you said, you're fighting a losing battle. Um, the Bears... The Bears can crawl back um when it comes to you know um if you lose x amounts of shooting and if you roll well with your buildings with the with the banners the six inch banners um you it's um, it is really hard to stop but then being d4 any any high model count straight four army like your your hunter orcs your um your Moranans, even with a Witch King, like the the Bears having resistance does help with a three will. But if you, it, all it takes is one spell to shut them out of the game for that turn, um, or compel them away, or just something. And if you lose too many Bjornings in a bad in a turn, and you have a you have a really bad turn, it the game kind of just swings on its head. Um, yeah, I think we can all agree it's not lemon, but it's definitely strong. So you know, it's, yeah, uh, I'd say it's above Riders Laden. It's just really, yeah. it's really oppressive yeah. and boring to play against if you if you want to play your army in the way you want to play your army because you can't do that usually. Um, some armies just have a great time against this. Um, like anything that has fight six free combat is loving life. Um, yeah. yeah, shooting. I mean, assault. Like assault is yeah. Assault's good. Uh, I mean, it doesn't knock the bears prone or knock them back because they're above strength six. Um, but you just shoot all the bjornings and you break and die anyway. So it's kind of doesn't really doesn't really matter. Um, I'm happy. I think it's there. I think yeah. I think it's good there. I think that's yeah. about right. I can see okay. why people would put it in lemon though. That's the only problem. Yeah, I, I think yeah. if you're more of a newer player, I think it definitely yeah. looks more like a lemon list. But yeah, once you start really playing against it, you learn. It's it's not that easy. It's got, it's got a lot of control, but not enough, I don't think, for it to be lemon wise. Yeah. I just wish yeah. Ash was here to hear you say that it, it takes skill to play. He stole this moment it, it away is, from it, us. It, it, like to win <laughs> domination and to win to win some of these scenarios, like um, like playing stuff like Command Battlefield Dom, you you can't just walk in and kill everything. I think because you just lose. Yeah. Um. And um, yeah, I don't know. Would Ash put this in lemon? No, I, I, I would say I, would. I, I think he'd probably agree with where it is now. It's just there would be he a hates carnage discussion. It. Yeah, he yeah, absolutely yeah. hates it, and he agrees it's the easiest army to play in the game. But it's really not. That's the thing. We're gonna do an entire pod just on that one topic, so we can save that for another day. I but look um, to that. we're happy with where it is now. Moving on, yeah. we have the host of the Dragon Emperor. Lemon. If everyone here lemon. agrees it's yeah. a lemon list. Um, I guess to kind of briefly discuss why, I mean, it's a very grindy D6 list with a 12-inch banner and fight five. Um, it has a drum. It has a really good natural fight six hero. It's got access to fury, tremor, um, and other spells to buff the killing power of the heroes as well. So enchanting blades and blade wrath. Um, and you can get a lot of models as well because you save points on the black dragons. That's probably the most slept on part, but you can get, you can make it a high model count army, um, even though it probably shouldn't be. Um, am I missing anything? No, it's just, I don't think so. It's really consistent. It excels at everything apart from shooting, really. Yeah. Yeah. And it's D6 everywhere, so it might not really care. And it has a drum. The only thing, like, yeah. if when we were mentioning about Black Riders earlier, I was thinking, like, well, if I start ages away from it and then it instantly kills the drum, I might have a rough time running towards it. Um, I don't think so. Leggy. You've got too many anything, models. It, anything that can kill the drum, it's now not moving very slow. It doesn't have, um, it's moving very slow. It doesn't have March in the army outside of that, unless you take a captain, Elliot, which brother. is a different way. You what forget that the drum's 12 inches, mate. So you can have the drum yeah. behind your lines and they can't kill it regardless. Yeah, but Leggy can. Leggy can yeah, Leggy can, but when you can't... Two up and kill it. Riders and stuff. Yeah. But the drum can die and then you're not moving that quickly necessarily. Yeah, but, true. It's still but, D6 though, right? D7 yeah, yeah it's still really good. The other two. You have it up to D7 
Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's super, super strong. I'd say it's easily a top two list in the game at the moment. Is it yeah. above Assault? I think so. I think it's question. so it's so nitty gritty. Due to the consistency point. of it, I think it is. We're really splitting hairs yeah. here. Entering <laughs> the call though, we do have Adam joining in. Who's about oh. to give his about to drop his two cents on the assault versus Emperor Legion debate, Adam. <laughs> where yeah, do you it's, fall? It's on a this? really close one. Uh there's only one th- I've had a very brief look. There's only one thing I'm surprised about, uh, which is you put Kirithungal in silly nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Just silly um, nervous. It's really not. <laughs> oh. Well, it's... Adam, Adam, uh, what we're going to do, um, we're going to rejiggle stuff at the end. So we can <laughs> I'm sorry to curious... concentrate on what I disagree with. I think actually the vast majority <laughs> is, is excellent. Um, Good. It's funny Good you put the Shire in the bottom of Nervous. That's, that's brilliant. <laughs> Ash, Ash was bad. Um, what do you think about the Assault the Emperor debate? That's currently what we're mulling over. Yeah. Um, I think the problem is, um, I actually think that Assault on Helm's Deep is harder to use than Emperor. Um, yeah. It doesn't look like it, but I think it is. <laughs> and with target priority and... and I think it is for sure. For, I think that yeah, I, I think that's, very that's a good easy point. Because you see people taking Assault and they're still not doing great at events because they're just not the best player using the list. Well, and Emperor, I, is it? I, I, just I only really know one player who uses it. Um, a sort of Helm's Deep a fair amount, and he's he's done all right. I think he's actually done better with defenders of Helm's Deep, which is curious. Yeah, I, I think he has. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a bit of an odd one. Of course, there's uh, definitely the made Italians. more friends. There's the Italians who uh, love it. One of them, of course, is on the unexpected podcast talking about how broken that list is, um, which was funny because he says he's played 200 games. He, he knows the list apparently better than anyone. I'm, I'm amazed he got that many games and that many friends with it. But um, surprising, yeah, he knows what he's talking about. And I, he says it's by far the the most broken list right now. And I, I don't know. I, we haven't really seen it in the UK doing that well. Like it's done well. Like Jay won with it. He won yeah, I was gonna say Jay just won the into the West with it, didn't he? Aaron Aaron has done well with it as well. To be fair, yeah, Aaron Aaron has done well. Aaron Pullum, yeah, yeah. I mean, again, we're talking about good players, though. I mean, how I'm... we've done this tier list, Adam, is you have to imagine this: the the armies are being playing at their optimum level. Yeah, they're being played by someone who knows how to use to the be kit. fair, I think in that case, then I think that does put a sort above. Yeah, because I think in in a top okay, just because of the hands, higher skill ceiling, a sort is going to be able to do better with the usage of the ballistas than the bombs compared to the emperor. I think one well, the, the emperor maxes out quite quickly i think the emperor is easy to yeah. counter as well actually mm. Walgar enters the fray you must have been chatting um very very detailed because i was able to have a four course meal and come back and you still got four legendary course legions. Meal. We're, we're currently talking about the emperor v assault and which would you say should go at the top of lemon as it currently stands assault is the best assault. List. And we seem quite conclusive on that, yeah. are we? I've yeah. got another. I think with what Adam factors. said, I think I agree now. Adam, spill the beans. I want to listen. Okay, so the thing with Dragon Emperor is magic can kind of just stop the Dragon Emperor, and then you know where the bubble is. It's kind of like um, a non aggressive shade. So you know they're going to fight where the Dragon Emperor is, right? So it's, I mean, it's a brilliant list. Stat wise, it's brilliant, but. It's a bit more predictable how it plays, whereas yeah, I don't know what stops Assault on Helm's Deep because obviously getting into their face stops it, but the six Terrain. inch minimum range is not enough, like that's not enough of a, a nerf, and the bomb is a really good countermeasure. Um, but like James said, it's just yeah. we don't really see it doing consistently that well over here. I mean, no. we did just say that J won and hundred with it, but yeah, we don't see I... everyone taking it everywhere, do we? I think. No. British politeness means that people don't want to be <laughs> people don't the want to be disliked, yeah. <laughs> guys, I think that's a very strong you know? argument. So at the hundred in Pontefract the other week, when there was a like a, a shark tank, but there were only 20 people. Um Ed brought Where did you come in that one, Adam, by the way? Just remind to, us. Just remind <laughs> everyone where you came in that. Um I came third. 
Exactly. It's a top three finish. Huge. I could have won it in the last game, but uh, I had a a very skilled opponent. He played very well. And um, yeah, he beat me in that last game. So um, beat me twice, in fact. Played played Jake Rawson (laughs) twice on the final day. I won all the other games and Jake um, got the matchups both times and uh, beat me fair and square. You know, played very well. Um, but anyway, Ed Ball, he so he brought uh, Bjornings and Black Riders. And in a very gentlemanly manner, he actually asked all his opponents, they didn't even roll for it. Every single game, he asked his opponents, which list would you like to play? Such a flex. That's really <laughs> And every single opponent chose Bjornings. <laughs> mm. Who'd have thought? <laughs> God knows why. Yeah, I'd rather I play Bjornings than Black Riders. Any it's day. just, it's, yeah, I think that says volumes, doesn't it? About Black Riders and the user play experience. And I think in the UK, one thing I really love about the gaming here is um, people don't want to bring a list that's going to be a negative play ex- for the opponent. Cough, Bert Leach, cough. I thought we were mentioning even... Bert's ego, brother. You need to stop yeah. this. He to be fair, though, Bert's jumped I... off it, though. I think the whole argument of not bringing a certain list because it's a negative play experience, I think, is a bit of a strange sort of argument. It's probably a discussion for a completely separate podcast. We, we need to finish about the that tier list. Yeah. We're yes. playing a game. Yeah. Um that's probably it's probably a topic for another time because we could probably go on about that for quite some time so we're gonna we're gonna move (laughs) on to the tell beings um whereabouts would we like to put this gents silly nervous silly nervous nervous. lower than silly nervous better than riders of theoden yeah i think it's better than riders of theoden that's quite conclusive no (laughs) no adam what are your strong feelings on this (laughs) It's a good list, but again, it's been piloted by great players like Nat Sinclair and, and World Champion, like and, and JR Chaya. Like, why, if you look at it, what buffs does it actually give you compared to a yellow alliance between Mordor and um, Spell Beans? It allows you, it's, I don't think it's the buffs, it's just taking the Spider Queen, essentially. And I know you could take it in yellow. Um, but the Mordor army bonus is actually fairly good. Yeah, but the Mordor units don't get the army bonus in that list. Yeah, but it's taking having the Spider Queen lead troops. I think that's the main thing. Yes, exactly. So yeah. at 550, I completely agree with you because or 500, because then you get a full war band in each. If you go higher than that, I actually think you're giving up too much from Mordor. Like you can take Black Numenorians, you can take Ring Wraiths, you can take uh, better heroes like Shagrat or Gorbag or Guritz or whoever you want to choose. Um, so I think if we're talking about five hundred, yeah, I, I completely agree with you, silly nervous. I think it could be. It was a fair point what you said. It could be recency biased towards the types of placings we've seen it have. Um, maybe that's partially why we lean towards it being where it is now, but. Um, what's what's the consensus here their main benefit is that spider queen can lead troops and they get hatred elf and that they get woodland creature mm. spot the spider queen is just fantastic though no no but what i'm talking about comparing it to a yellow alliance yeah yeah that's you, his you, argument you lose model count by yeah, yeah you're losing model count and you're getting no bonus from doing it i don't see what the point of doing that would be so that's the thing, unless if you're, you're playing at points. higher points but right. we've said it in the in this podcast we're going to talk about how the legion works as as a whole not saying oh if it's at high points it's not going to work it's been taken high up, points the yellow lights is better it's been taken up for yeah. effectively and i don't know if it won into west last year yes and it's been taken yeah. at 700 points effectively um i, I I don't know. I just think it's really strong. I think you, so. Adam, trip. what's the what's the quibble? Do you not think it should be Thaden? Do you think Thaden's riders is better? I think if Thaden's riders is piloted well, it's extremely strong. Who's to say it doesn't knock out sixteen troops in the first couple of turns? Like, I think the Fell beings also needs to be piloted well with the Spider Queen, yeah, uh, in order to make it a good list as well. Yeah. 
I agree. Yeah, they're, they're just they, they require good skill to play, but if they are played effectively, they're very strong. Yeah, which is what we've based the tier list around. Exactly. Yeah. So I think for now we'll leave it there. We can revisit everything though at the end quickly. Uh, finally, huge. we do have a controversial AOL list. Who wants to kick this one off? Sam's used it quite a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like my opinions on AOL are more controversial compared to the community as a whole in the sense of I I think the, the Beasts are really good and you should take one or two of them regardless of points level. But the... I think if you don't shoot enough and you don't get enough kills on the way in, you do struggle because the the beast portion relies on your opponent. I mean, if you're in your if you're enraging a spider and killing a hero, they're guaranteed worth it. But no opponent is gonna let you do that for free. You're gonna always have the hero is gonna get into combat and they're always gonna have a spear spot behind, meaning that they're, they're safe. They're among they're amongst ranks and they cannot be bat swarmed, spidered. I guess there's this argument for when you know when a couple of turns of combat happen and the lines become a bit more you know disjointed, then spaces open up for spiders. Um, but putting two dudes behind every hero to stop a shroud of shadowed spider isn't the end of the world. Um, if they're taking spam prowlers, they're minus one across their battle line. I mean, they are fight three, um, but any fight three army with a decent banner can just outfight them and kill them at D4. Um, it uh, Some people take the wild, wild warg chieftain, which I think is definitely a viable route for it. But it's, again, is it a point sink of, I think, is it 80 points for chieftain? I think it is. I think it's 80, yeah. Yeah. Um, with a where you get the plus one to wound for just outnumbering, you want to take as a horde as possible. So, I th- I think it can. I personally don't like the chieftain uh, version, although it does give you a does give you might on a model you can enrage, which is good. I think benefiting off the plus one to wound through your goblins and just going spam horde may be more worth it. Um, because the shamans are really really good with the reroll transfix. Um, you do need a captain in this list because otherwise you you want to sit back and shoot, but when you do need to move out the board, you have to be able to move out the board because if you don't, you will lose. Um, so I think a captain is necessary. Um, I, I agree with you, you don't want to take orcs because they just don't, they're just a bit of a, they just don't really give you anything. They're just soft, easy targets that go, that just die. <laughs> People are going to say lemon. I could see it being lemon, to be fair, but I could also see it being silly, nervous above bears. I think it is top of silly, nervous. Yeah. I don't think it's a lemon list. I don't think it is either. I think it is. You think it's? I think it's Bjorning's level. It's so versatile. It's above Bjorning's. It's. It's versatile in the sense of I personally think it's better at lower points. But Sam, I mean, your Sam where have you gone, mate? Yeah. See, my AirPod just died as well. We've been doing the podcast <laughs> for so long. My AirPod, uh, my AirPod, literally just died. It's, for me, it's above bears. Sam fell into a fridge. I, I, I would put it just below Black Riders, or maybe just above them, even. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't think it's lemon. It's just it is so fragile in combat. Once you hit the lines, like it's if it... it doesn't hold up well. It is effectively a shooting list with a few tricks, yeah. but those tricks are easily countered if you, as Sam just explained in detail, know what to do. And then when you get into combat with it, it does. It just goes down the toilet. And yeah, I don't think it. I just don't think it's lemon. I think it's better than Bjorning's. Person. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's got more more tools than Bjorning's. Yeah. But I think Black Riders, most people are going to struggle against more. And I don't think it's better than Emperor. Yeah. 
Okay, yep. so we have got to the end of the tier list. Now, are we going to move anything around? Do we want to go through tier by tier and do it that way? I wanted to ask a quick question. Oh. Um, the Dragon Emperor ended up in Lemon, and yes. I totally agree with that. But we had a comment from a very good player who didn't think it was Lemon. Was that given any consideration? Oh, I think that was a slightly different context, it? though. <laughs> Is that because of it was due to the scenarios yes. at the event we're going to, or is it because of the list? Is it the or is it the list as a whole? I think he was saying about the list as a whole. Yeah. So my impression was the list as a whole isn't lemon. I didn't take that from the comment, but but you know, I, I also didn't. I thought it was due to the context of the event and the other lists it was being compared to that sort of thing. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just. I just didn't know if that factored into your discussion. Um, I still think it's a lemon list, but I was just just curious. It, we don't it, take it other know, people's so. views into consideration on this podcast, Ash. No. Am I oh, no. insane thought? No. Sorry. Um, so do we want to go through this tier by tier? Do uh, and let's see if we have anything to move. Are we happy with everything in lemon? Do we want to move anything up or down? No, I think everything's good there. Yeah? Yeah. What about silly nervous. Yeah, Ash, I think the one that we discussed the most was was actually Pitts. We we were kind of a bit yeah mm. back and forth on that one. But Adam Adam was uh, saying about Kirith and Gorwin, silly nervous. I think we should just go through the tears and see if we. Oh want wait, to where, where's Pitts? Did that end up in Pitts is in nervous? Uh, Pitts ended up uh, near the yeah. top of nervous. Yeah, Pitts is definitely better than Kirith and Gorwin. No, so, we spent a long time talking about Pitts. So <laughs> I've, I've used I've used both a lot. Yeah, what do you think? I think Pitts I think Pitts is really strong because if you time your auto turn the turn after you've lost priority and you call a march that first turn you're essentially moving Azog 10 plus 5 then the opponent can't react and you're going another 10 into combat so you could get 25 inches without reply sure then after that they can protect the heroes or whatever but then you've got a free heroic combat so you have a potential, obviously potential is not always, to move 35 yeah. inches without much response. Someone can try and magic you in that one turn in which you've gone in to stop you combating. Which well, I think, great. Adam, what you said exactly there, where you gave the little counterpoint, was why we ended up putting it in Nervous. Mm. It's like, cool, you get a great opportunity to do something, but how often does this list actually carry that out? And yes, it can win you games, but ultimately the reason why we decided to put it in nervous was because yes, everything you described was is really, really good and everything else you can do with Azog, but outside of that, it's a pretty dog army. So I think oh, everything gosh. that Azog brings, I think puts you up to around top of nervous. But I think if, if the army yep. was a nervous army, I think Azog and everything he brings would put it up to silly nervous. But I think it's a pretty dog army. Also, a point on what you just said. Um, if you're moving 35 inches or however, 25, sorry, um, that's just Azog. Every, he's just going to get swarmed and die in that turn, surely. For sure. But if you're playing things like Divide and Conquer or anything where you're, or any Maelstrom or whatever, you've got a silly amount of might. Um, you can get to where you need to to concentrate on what you need to. I'm not saying you do that solo, he's going to die. He's not a lender. Yeah. He goes down. The army does just crumble very quickly, though, at fight three and low defense and oh, not for sure. numbers. For sure. Yeah. So that was, uh, we ultimately, we discussed for quite a while the strengths of Azog and the weaknesses of the army and thought it's pretty mid. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm happy with it being in the position it is. I think um, top and nervous is actually, I think, slightly generous. Um, <laughs> I think, no, I don't think it's good. Uh, in relation to Kirithan Gaul, you were saying, because we. we yeah, Kirithan Gaul. Okay. It's the troops aren't great. Uh, there's no magic, which is probably one of the best things about Mordor. There's no Moranans, which is one of the other best things about Mordor. Your, your spider gets an extra attack. Um, she's good, but she's no spider queen. Her output is nowhere near good enough. She's very, very tanky. Don't get me wrong. She can eat an orc. That's great. So on the charge, she can get up to six dice. Brilliant. No, it's great. I've, I've played that list a lot and I, it's just really limited in terms of its troops and its courage. Yes, you can take a shaman, but that only affects half your army. Shooting's not very good. It just doesn't really do anything well apart from hoard out. So you might as well just take Mordor. 
we did hear James give an anecdote of him beating it three times in a yeah, in the that. same tournament. So <laughs> you are potentially swaying me to drop it down. I, I think the, the other is. argument I guess why it was good was the fact it has it does have quite a lot of tools. Like you say, it's quite simple, but actually the way the list can be played is quite complex, as we've seen from the varying results that have come from it. Yeah, it's got animosity and, and yeah, sure, but. See, I slightly <laughs> disagree with the that because animosity is such a good special rule that the legendary legions have given it, if not one of the best. Plus one to wound is nothing to to scoff at. <laughs> but it's, you're not you always going to get it because your orcs are probably spear supporting uh, the first few turns anyway. If somehow you've won with a battle line v battle line with fight a fight four defense five uruk at the front and an orc supporting complete with three inch banners when we talk about nowadays there's so many 12 inch banners six inch banners whatever it's just it's just pony okay i think we need to vote on where we want kirith gold james um people exactly where it is i think i'm quite happy with where it is as well but could see potential to drop it down to around theodred's guard level at the top of nervous uh vince isn't here <laughs> sam yeah. well i am okay where it is Vince, where do you rate Kirithan Gol? I think it's fine where it is. Yeah, I think okay. it's fine. This, this yeah. seems an overwhelming majority. Ash? I think, again, comparing it to Theodred's guard, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it I think it should be dropped. You think it should be dropped? And Adam, where would you place it? I would put it. Actually, no. I think it should be below Ugglet Scouts. I would put it below um, Pits. So that's three to three. Surely we do a dice roll one, two, three, evil, four, five, six, good <laughs> to determine. I where totally it Can I just hear the counter argument why you think it's better than um, Theodred's Guard, which has Fearless until Theodred's? No, because we said Theodred is great, but not as a leader. I agree. He's... I think we're going to roll a dice for this one, whether we drop it down or not, because we can't <laughs> move on. So, Have you discussed four. how Shagrat's actually only courage four and he's your leader? Yeah, but yeah he does dice. have three will. On a, on a four, five, or six, it stays. On a one, two, or three, it moves down to nervous. It's staying where it is. No! Yes. What a good roll off. No. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I think the problem with the Nervous portion is that some armies in the top of Nervous should be actually in the Silly Nervous, and some of the armies in the bottom of Nervous should be in Dog. So it's like a there's too what? many in that there's too many in that portion where like I I would actually rather see Thedra's Guard go up to Silly Nervous on par with Kirithungal instead fair of fair argument. To be fair, I think things like the Shire that's true. Would move down to Dog. Yeah. I just made such a compelling the Shire needs to I just made such a compelling argument, you know. Like Kirithongal needs um no Thedra's guard needs to go up. I I th yeah. I would argue that Pitts potentially has warrant of going up. Like yeah. very, very yeah. I mean, pretty Pitts, low Pitts warrant. There, yeah. Ler <laughs> scouts potentially. No. Um Return of the King needs to go. It Higher needs to go nervous. up. I think um, Return of the King is around Pitts level. No. Yeah, you're putting all no, your eggs into. No, no, no. It's it's way uh, worse than uh, Pitts. Yeah, I would say it's definitely worse than Pitts. Oh, I don't think it is. I think Return of the King is pretty slip. Pretty slip. A little bit worse than Pitts because it hasn't got the tricks. I don't. I don't think it's that much worse. I think Slip they're in the, the same... top two up to silly, and then leave Return of the King as the highest nervous. I... What, what I hate to see Pitts that? as really nervous personally. I do, yeah. I, I think it's nice. I think it's uh, top of nervous. I think it's a very mid list. I don't think it has what it takes to be silly nervous personally. I think that and Return of the King with like Merkwood Rangers and Scouts are, are a pretty good cluster at the top of nervous. Yeah, I love how Defenders of the Shire was in nervous for so long. To be fair, I think Goth Mogs go <laughs> lasted a good few hours. <laughs> Gothmog goes to dog, I think, in my personal view. I actually am considering, I think the Balrog, Depths of Morrow, now goes to dog. Um, 
No, 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 no. It's no, not no. in No, no, no. no, 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 no. I would have agreed if Ash hadn't made good points about it. I. That's a compliment I mean, from James. So, can yeah. we just really a wind the step? Ash managed to convince all of you to put Defenders of the Shire. No, I, I also backed the Defenders of the Shire point as Based well. Based on the fact that Ash, as soon as he stopped taking Shire, started doing well in the GBHL. Yeah. <laughs> also, Adam, my my argument was very lackluster for Defenders of the Shire. Yeah, really he wasn't, wasn't really big it up. That I was much. really, I was more upset that it wasn't good throughout my my little speech. We well, did say that it beats Black Riders though. So that's why yeah, yeah. that's true. Nervous. You got a bump up there, but then we all came down to earth. It's gone back down to dogs. So, oh man, I, think, no. I don't really you're, you're not wrong. Why, it does beat Black Riders, yeah. Why is Depths of Moria? Bear in mind, you have said that it can only really be taken at high points due to the drum and due to six by four boards. Why is it there? Because I think we were it saying... falls. I think it falls into the same kind of category as like these kind of niche lists that we have, like the Grand Army of the South and the Neck. Yeah, uh, yeah the, the, Grand, Army I think the Grand Army of the South can still be taken at your <laughs> six hundred points level. We said that we wanted to make use of all the tools that the list possibly brings. Yeah. So you yeah. can't say, "Oh, we need to drop the depths down because." At lower points, you can't use all the good things about it. That's a very good point. But yeah, that's, that's, that's the whole point of why uh, we're ranking. It's yeah, not the Vanquishers one as well. Is. Yeah, the thing is, I think I find the fact that they need to be versatile though. If like the top lists, they can be taken nearly at every points level. So same with Assault, it's one at 450, it can be great at 800, Emperor, Black Riders, Beornings, Fell Beings, all of these lists can be taken at low to high points, whereas Depths. Is solely, I'd I'd consider it a seven fifty eight hundred plus. But we have got plus. depths two tiers below the lists you just mentioned. Yeah, but even like, then, like yeah. even I'd compared to uh, to fail. I I don't even know what the one below depths is. Uh, the Dunland. Dunland. Yeah. We've got Dunland Grand Army this yeah. hour. I consider Dunland way better than depths. I think I agree with that. I can you can't play Dunland at the same point as you can play depths. So. Yeah, 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 but, but we're talking Dunland, about it wholly play at a wider point yeah. level compared to. Depths. I think you can play Grand Army of South at a wider points level than Depths. I think you can. It. it I, I just think Depths is lower down. Although the drum is so good, you only ever see it at such. I a... would be very upset if we put the Depths of Moria Legendary Legion in the dog category because it just it's not is going not dog. dog. I think we should put Dunland here and then have. Yeah, the I think Dunland should probably just move up rather than that yeah. go so much further down. And we should have the Balrog, Grand Army of the South and the Necromancer sort of strange <laughs> le niche. Well, I think they might God need to drop down. The Grand, the Grand Army God is Morg better is than the Balrog. clinging on for dear yeah. I think He's clinging. A little rotten hand. Gothmog <laughs> is dog. Goth yeah, Gothmog's Legion is dog. It's, it's dog. Is that dog list? Dog yeah. list. I don't know why it's in nervous. It's it's drop it below the shire. Gone. Drop it below the shire. Yeah, I think it definitely. <laughs> no, 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 it's no. below the shire. It's not below the shire. I it's, don't think it's. Below I've the played shire. it. It's not. It's not great. Um, again, I've played I think both. It's like a Mordor list without so many tools. I, what you gain is very little. Um, yeah, I think that's what we also decided Hobbit. about it. Grand Army goes above some of those lists. I'm telling you now. Yeah, I agree with that. I was trying to say earlier that the Grand Army we actually saw win at Worcester. I think yeah. it was two years ago. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah I'm not sure... entire army in one turn. I'm I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, two that, I'm not sure that the Dale uh, Legion and the one with the dwarves are as good as we put them. I think the Grand Army. I maybe... think they are because they're still yeah. very solid armies. I think the Grand Army is probably above them though. Solid, I would be happy to put the special. Grand Army above both of those. Yeah, yeah there's there's you're saying they're nothing special. Too. Like that nervous tier, it's not going to be much above fifty percent win rate if it's even reaching it. So you're not expecting it to be anything special. The grand army can so, be pretty good, where I think those two are av uh, like not that. Yeah, but I think the grand army can be fairly good. I think Dale goes above grand army personally. Yeah, definitely. Are we assuming all of this is like with semi good players? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah and, so the premise okay. was that you take the lists to the maximum of their ability. That's what so, we're judging them on. Um, why is the Vanquishers there? That's true. Where would they be? It's, I don't think... I've only played Vanquishers in once, and no one else has played them. 
Yeah. Yeah, none of us have played it. We don't really have any experience involving them. Because it's a it's a four model army on foot, like so, <laughs> I could tell you things. It's a case of it's again, I could see Vanquishers going to top of nervous if played by the right uh, person. But uh, otherwise, I mean it's the same with Black Riders, but it's Black Riders is just so much better than Vanquishers. I mean it's just the case that we don't really have a lot of experience to put them in a comfortable position. I, I would put them at the top of nervous because I think that's a very good average position for them. I've seen them played at events where they, again, it's not in the UK, but um, abroad where the top two of the top three players take it. And there was actually a vanquishers off. And the player who won it is the same guy who won the doubles three years ago at Articon. Like yeah. if played well, well that's Mario anyone knows him uh if anyone has seen this list played well it is really strong but yeah. you, you can't be an average pilot you you need to know it if you know it it's 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 really strong really really strong even in scenarios like domination because you can be quite clever with where you place the objectives capture and control is not great for it but you get to a point where you can just start commanding away or compelling away models that are about to reach things in the end game if you're good at counting and calculating the end game, it's it's a great list. The problem it's is still, that... it still loses to defender of the Shire domination. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Yes, you cannot be above the, the fact that we started. The fact that we started our relationship, Vince, with me and you battling it out whether or not defenders of the Shire was good, and you've just come in with a late game support. Huge, love it. This this list could be totally rewritten if it's a sense of you're just taking an average player using the list because Black Rod is oh, yeah, totally. like dog, you know, all these lists flip around. Um I some... think Emperor then would become the best list. Yes, yeah, Emperor would become the best, but it's yeah. auto play. Sorry, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, it's to be fair, the bears as well to an extent. Yeah. Sam's oh, don't get us started. Sam's triggered right now. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, I would not consider the Bears the same <laughs> often play as Bears different. take Personally. maximum no, skill. I, I have to agree with Sam here. They're definitely not in the same auto play section. <laughs> in the slightest. <laughs> yeah, flat no, you have to be there. careful. But... Yeah. Um, okay, is, is there anything else that we want to move around? I feel like we should wrap this up. Has anyone got anything? Yeah. There's got to be more armies that go in Chelsea. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I'm thinking this as well now. Brothers, come on. So, can I just ask, why have we gone from Man United to Chelsea? Because Chelsea's shit. Because Chelsea <laughs> is trash too. <laughs> Which this story, were we going to move Chelsea. around? Was there, was there one to move? Chelsea are lucky not to have been relegated. All, so. all the bottom three from Dog go to Chelsea. I'm saying that. Yeah, I just, I I just hate to see my beautiful riders of Aomir <laughs> <laughs> put in the Chelsea category. Men of the West just can't be in Chelsea. They're I think so Men of the good. West definitely belongs in Chelsea. I mean, they're good. I think Druidan mean, belongs down there as well. This, this list like has been actually rewritten in the last no, one no, second. I think Pass Elliot's gone mad with people. power. It deserves to oh, be done. It's not okay, fine. I move, move everything. So, so what's what's going down into Chelsea? Dog is very crowded. Range of Athelion are not a Chelsea list. No, they're not. They Dog dominate. Is the West is, though. Dog is very crowded. Riders of Amir is definitely in Chelsea. Oh, outrageous. <laughs> Riders is. I, Adam I with a late game. I think, uh, you, like you said, Ash, they did dominate uh, Range of Athelion. You just never yeah. see them now. And there's a reason why. I've actually never Chelsea seen them. List. That's why, because they're Chelsea, brother. They're Chelsea. Get them down. They're proper Chelsea. <laughs> I, I think if they go now, so does Men of the West, personally. It's a list you never see it. When you do see it, it's it kind of sucks. So yeah, man, of was, that has the qualities of a Chelsea. Yeah, I've never seen it. Bones of Amy goes down. There was one guy. I just did. There was one guy who played I Men of the West. West. Yeah, we talked about him earlier. Is that going to go yeah. top? Men of the West goes above Riders and Calvin or something. Is that, is that Rohan top of Chelsea? The big Haven. I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm quite happy with this as well. Sure. Are we good? <laughs> Sure. Any burning disagreements. Roses put me in the bottom, just to upset James. Um, uh, yeah, I, I agreed. The Roses were the bad point of that army. We're going to move it down. I, to I, I still as well. think Grand Army the South is slightly too high. Even spread. This is what I just made a second ago, and I was shot down. When you guys uh, discuss the Roses Legion, 
did you discuss it on the premise that you m- might get one forest maximum per board? No. Yeah, yeah. We, we did. Well, we, did. Well, we, said, we said there weren't really that many difficult terrains you'd get to actually utilise from it. Yes, yeah, so we talked about the ship terrain in the UK, yeah. Yeah. I didn't <laughs> the number get of to... I'm saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Adam's already caused a firestorm. Oh, all all I'm going to say is, firestorm play dogs. that list somewhere else and it'll probably be all right. See, yeah, I played... actually, I think it's dog. I don't think it's... You played Harry Potter with it, didn't you, Ash? I was going to say... Last year, City of Kings. At City of Kings last year, famous Edmund man, Harry Parkhill, beat me with this list. There was lots of terrain on the board, and he used it really well. It's got to be a great event for it. The terrain is massive for this Legion. If there's loads of terrain, it's amazing. It's actually really good. Especially an event you can bring terrain to. Exactly. So he used that so well. With this list. That's a very corner case, though. How many how many forests did you count yeah. in that entire tournament? I don't. Know. I don't know. I wasn't expect inspecting the boards personally, but yeah, yeah. I think I played on maybe one, like out yeah. of every single board. Yeah. If you took this to Warhammer World with the specific Warhammer World forest terrain, and it came up quite often, nervous. So we talk about yeah. the Warhammer World terrain, which is like two fences. Um... No, it actually, it no, wasn't bad. See, sort of like they, this is also a stereotype, house. Adam. Yeah. We yeah. only have one Rohan house. I think that's only because it was at Masters Ash and there was like eight tables. Yeah, that's the thing. If, True. if there's, an, if there's not a, there's too many tables, you don't get that much terrain. Skulls but... or, or doubles event or anything like where there's actually over 16 players. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not great. Okay, um, do we have up. anything else that we want to move around or are we ready to wrap this up? Vanquishers top are nervous. I don't think they belong at the top of it, personally. I think they should, I think they should definitely go... They're above the barrel. Region, I think they definitely have sorry. warrant to go up. I don't think they're at the top. Where... I would agree they are top but below pits. The one one to the right of pits. Here. Yeah. yeah. Better Somewhere than Merkwood like. Rangers. Yeah, better than Merkwood Rangers. Merkwood Rangers need to go down. I'm telling you, man. Uh, I think Merkel Rangers. Man. I'm telling you, man. They're, they're... No, they're not the one. Yeah, but Blackgate think... opens as well. I don't, I don't know how it's ended up in Nervous. Blackgate opens as dog. No, Blackgate is solid list. Everyone Blackgate else is, is solid. High. I wasn't that high on it, but I think it's roughly where it needs to be. I just think putting Vanquishers up there kind of changes the dynamic of the Nervous tier. Blackgate opens is not too dissimilar. To Kirithongal, because it's actually got a better version of animosity. Yeah, that that's why we put it up that high. We were saying, yeah, that the animosity. And and imagine Shelob with might. Well, it's not quite Shelob with might. Troll's way worse than Shelob. Troll is slow. Sure, Troll's slow, but Troll is also fearless. And has three light. Base size. The base size is completely. Oh, I don't know. Animals inches. I'd bump Blackgate up and I'd put the um I'd put the barrel bottom of nervous personally and I'd put the Necromancer Legion around against, against magic, it just does nothing. Blackgate just does nothing. I think my biggest quibble is the Dale Iron Hills Legendary Legion is just not good at all. That is a dog list. I don't know how they've ended that high up personally. Yeah. yeah. yeah there's, there's, what is it even? Of defenders of Erebor or something? Yeah, Defenders of Erebor. I, I, I'd made the argument that because Lee's taken it and he's done pretty well with it. Like He ha- he really he hasn't done dog with it, has he? That's not how you describe it. I'd take Dunland over it though, I think. Swap. swap Definitely change it with the depths. Depths has got to be above that. Drop that no, down no, to no, the no, 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 no. Swap Defenders with um... The vanquishers, no, the um, the necromancer legion, and then put the defenders of Erebor above the Balrog, in my view. Defenders of Erebor are above what? the Balrog, which it is, yeah, now. so defenders above Balrog, and then put the Balrog at the bottom instead of the that one. So don't move defenders at all, just move the Balrog list. No, no, put the, put the, put the necromancer above. That was the most uh, convoluted defenders. way to do that possible. That was clever from you, no, you need to I, can't, def- I can't see what's on the right-hand side, so... Def- defenders no, no. above, no, below the uh, necromancer. I think it's Dunland. It is Dunland. What the depth just is better than that. No, it isn't. Why are you throwing shade? Last time you played Depths of Moria, bruv. I haven't. I've only played against it <laughs> once, and it wasn't at its peak points. It only peaks at like 
eight hundred plus. Unnumbered tears is coming out. Yeah, but you can't yeah, take so legions. One, to one that. event you can take it to. Oh, it's not coming. You can't out. even take it there. You can't, you can't even take, take legendary there. legions. So. One <laughs> event you can go to. Or there's, there's another eight hundred point event, and that's like the only time you may see it. And even then, how many things are going to have enough to deal with a Balrog at eight hundred points? Yeah, everything is. It's not. I, 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 the the drum's yeah. great, but it's not that nervous. Come on, I don't think the Balrog is very good at all. I think the special rules that you get from the Balrog just are better than the special yeah. rules that basically are non-existent for the Defenders of Erebor Legion. If you swap sure. those two over, I'm happy. Getting three banners. Yeah, you get three three-inch three banners. That's pretty pretty crazy. Mm, but you lose one of Dale's best things, which is the three-plus shoot value. Yeah, but three banners for free, essentially. Yeah, but you get the enhancement of the defense from the dwarves. <laughs> They don't I count think, as banners, though. See, I think they've tried to synergize the whole Dale dwarf thing, and I just don't think it synergizes. It that hasn't much. meshed yes. particularly well. Theme. It hasn't meshed that badly either. But it's just not that great. No, but I that's it's why right it's, it's not it's above like... nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's all right. It's not great. Yeah. So, this so is, what, what are we debating totally then? Or are we? This, this, list, this list needs to be done because it's like been two and a half hours worth of. Time. <laughs> it's been more than that. It's been more than that. Okay, so I think I think we can conclude saying that <laughs> I think the nervous, which could potentially move around, but we would be here yeah. for twice the current length of the episode discussing where they end up. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to cut it there. Any any closing comments? No, I think uh, we're good. Nah. Okay, so thank you for watching this uh, tier list, uh, running through all the Leisure Legions. Uh, we're going to have more tier lists coming out about you know various uh, different topics, uh, armies in the game and all that sort of thing. Uh, but thank you for watching episode two of the Golems Gamers podcast. <laughs>